I'd like to get you up to speed first, Reuben. A gun was discovered in the Admiral's suite that has been linked to Portia's crime scene. Do you have the gun with you? I'd like to see it. How is the gun linked to Portia's murder? There are three unaccounted bullets missing in the gun, and Portia was shot three times. I can hardly believe that's a coincidence. What about fingerprints? Did you try getting them off? It's pointless. I guarantee you that it would have my fingerprints as well. Carla's too. No chance they wouldn't think about it. Carla, do you have any more questions for Sam? Why not keep the gun on your person instead of hiding it? I've been around firearms for a long time, Miss Page. I know how much trouble one can bring. I decided it would be better and safer to keep it further away from civilians. Okay, I think I've got a grasp on the situation. Is there anything else? There is. I found a knife that belongs to the Admiral when we were back on the beach. But why didn't you tell us that straight away, Carla? I wanted to make sure it was his first, before making any accusations. Show me that knife, Carla. How do you know it was his? I found the sheath for the knife in his room. It really looks like it belongs in this sheath. Anything to say, Sam? It's mine, but it's been missing since someone bashed in my head in my suite. Why are we only hearing about this now? I didn't notice that it was gone straight away. But once I did, I didn't see a point in telling anyone since we had bigger things to worry about. You can pin the knife and gun on me, but you obviously didn't speak with Q yet. The boy saw me in the backyard around the time Portia was murdered. I didn't get a chance to speak with Q yet. Catherine is looking for Q as we speak. Once they come back, we will question him too. Who knows when that will be? You probably haven't checked the cameras either. That should be more than enough to confirm my alibi. We can do that right now. Carla, let's head down and check the security footage. Sam, we'll be back shortly. I'll be here. After you, Carla. All the monitors are off. That's strange. Maybe something shorted? I'll check the cables. Carla, can you check the panel switches by the side? Maybe we can reset it. Sure. This must be the panel with the switches.
The power's back on. Ruben, it's on. Amazing. Where should we have a look first? Do you have cameras installed upstairs? No, not in the private areas. But there is one in the foyer. Let's have a look at that one first. A bit before Portia died. That's it. What the hell? No, no, no! God damn it! Ruben, what just happened? The whole camera system shut off. I don't know if this was set up to shut off or a malfunction due to the power cut before. But I don't think we'll be able to use the cameras again. Sheesh! We didn't manage to check if the Admiral was lying or not. No, we didn't. But we did see Margot in the foyer. She was close to the murder scene. Not only that, but the timing of her being there is not far off from when Portia died. It'll definitely come up when I question her. All right, let's head upstairs. The Admiral still has some explaining to do. So, how did it go? Did you look at the footage? No. The camera system broke. We can't use it anymore. God damn it! It was proof that I was around the backyard. Someone sabotaged it. I think it was a malfunction. But it doesn't change the fact that we can't look at your footage. Fine. Then there's no option left but to ask you directly. Do you mind staying in the study until Dr. Cat brings him in for questioning? It's not like I have a choice. In the meantime, we should question the rest of the guests. should I question next? All right, Margot, we'll talk to you now. Of course, she is. Are we going to Ruben's room? Yes, I'd like you to follow me. So, what would you like to know? What were you doing this evening? I was chatting with Mrs. B in the club room up till recently. She's such a lovely companion for a chat. Did you notice anything odd during the evening? I did see Jack storming through the dining hall in a fit of rage. Couldn't tell you the time though. Did you see where he was going? I just saw him storming through, but I can't say where he was heading. All right then, another thing. Did any of you leave the room? Oh yes, I left Mrs. B for a moment. I spilled a drink on my top, so I had to go and change. 
I know it's a bit of a strange request, but would you mind if we had a look at your top? Not at all. It's back in my room. You're free to go and have a look at it. Here's the key to my suite. Thanks. We'll be back in a jiffy. Don't worry, Chérie. I'll be here. Just don't bash me for the mess you'll find inside. I need to unlock the door. It was a yellow top, right? Yes. Let's look around. It's gotta be in here.
Carla, did you find it? Yeah, I think that's it. It does look like a wine stain to me. Let me see. You're right. It's just an ordinary stain. Still, Margot was close to Portia's suite around the time of the murder. I think that it's just a coincidence that she was heading to change around that time. Perhaps. I just can't trust anyone anymore. Let's head back to Margot. I still have one question left for her. Right. After you. Your story checked out, Margot, but I still have a question left. Who do you think could have killed Portia? If I have to be honest, Jax has a short fuse. I wouldn't be surprised if he flew into a rage or something and took it out on Portia. Perhaps, but he usually does it with his fists. And no matter how hot-headed he is sometimes, I doubt he would raise a hand against a woman. You never know, Reuben, even if he is your best friend. Margot, do you mind if I take a photo of you? Well, I guess the article you came here for is turning into a very grim thriller book. Sure, chérie, go ahead. The book would only benefit from additional visual material. Thank you, Margot. I have no more questions for you. You're free to leave. No problem, Siri. Who should we question next? Let's see who else we have. Jax, it's your turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's get this over with. So, what would you like to know? When was the last time you talked to Portia? Oh, isn't Carla the lead here, Reuben? Just answer the question. Tch, fine. Just before Reuben had a convo with my fist, what about it? Could you swallow your pride for a minute, Jax? No one wants to be here. But if you cooperate, this will be over quick. I did say fine. Just ask your damn questions. Did anyone see you with Portia? No, no one could have seen us. We were in my suite. What else you want to know? What did you do after talking with Portia? Went to punch Mr. Best Friend over here. Then I went to Janet's suite to see what she had to say about all of this. Almost done here. Who do you think killed Portia? I don't know who did it or why, but I can tell when someone has a mask on. A trait of an actor, I guess. I can tell that Margot has secrets. She acts nice, but I feel like she's hiding something. One last thing and you're free to go. 
I need to take a photo of you. What for? Just let her take the photo and go, Jax. Fine. Okay, thank you. That will be all. Finally. Ruben, Carla, I found Q, and he's already up to date with what happened. If that's great, then let's not waste time and go to Ruben's suite. Very sorry to hear about Portia. She wasn't the kindest. But no one deserves to go like that. So please, ask me anything, and I'll answer. Where were you this evening? I was back in the greenhouse, doing chores. The Admiral said he was there, too. The Admiral? That's odd. I didn't see him the whole night. Are you sure? The Admiral told me he was there roaming around. He said he spoke to you, too. No, senorita. I didn't see him. Okay. Well, can you all stay here? I need to ask the Admiral something. Go. Admiral. Would you mind stepping into the corridor with me for a minute? Of course, Miss Page. Hugh said he didn't see you around the greenhouse this evening. What? The boy is obviously lying. I was there. I even talked to him. He complained that he broke a wrench while fixing the pipe, too. This is confusing. Don't know who to believe. Do you know where the broken wrench is? I think it was somewhere on the table in the greenhouse. I'll go and find the wrench, and we will figure out who the liar is. In the meantime, could you join them in Ruben's room? Gladly. If the Admiral was telling the truth, the broken wrench will be somewhere here.
Well, the Admiral was right about the wrench. I wonder what Q will have to say about it. Sorry for the holdup. Had to check something before I returned. Q, can you have a look at this wrench and tell me what happened to it? Si, sí, senorita. I have nothing to hide. I used this wrench while fixing the pipe and broke it. Aha! Uh -huh. Caught you now, you lying bastard! Q, mind explaining? The Admiral knew about the wrench breaking because you told him. He was actually there, wasn't he? Si, sí, senorita. I lied. He was walking around in the backyard for a while. Why on earth would you lie in a situation like this, Q? That man took my honor. Blamed me for the bad things I didn't do. Back where I'm from, that's unforgivable. I have no respect for men like him. Leave all your differences aside, and let's continue with only the truth. Can you both do that? Si, sí, Carla. That's what I've been doing since we started. No need to ask me twice. When was the last time you saw each other? After my stroll in the backyard and a small chat with Q, I returned to my suite. It was just before you came to my room asking about the bullet casing you found at the crime scene. After the Admiral left, I headed toward the jungle to check on some plants. When I came back, I found Senora Bennett looking for me around the greenhouse. After that, we came here straight away. For what it's worth, I don't believe that Sam or Q killed Portia. But someone still had to take Lucas's handgun. Let's question the last person before we make any conclusions. Agreed. Sam, Q, you both can go now. One second. I'd like to take a photo of them for documentation purposes, if they don't mind. Of course, senorita. My conscience is clear. Do what you need to do. Thank you. We'll talk to you later, Admiral. Mrs. B, can you come with me? Of course, dear. I'm right behind you. Georgiana, how are you holding up? Oh dear, I don't know how much I can take. It's no secret that I didn't like Portia, but now that she's gone, it's not right, I'd say. I guess the first thing you want to know is where I was at the time of the incident, right? I was spending the evening with Margot in the club room. What did you and Margot speak about?
Oh, the good old days. I was surprised to find out that Margot is almost 50 years old. She doesn't look a day older than 35. Did either of you leave the room? Um, I think Margot went out to change. She spilled a drink on herself. But I don't think she was gone for that long. Didn't feel like it anyway. One more thing. Who do you think could have killed Portia? Oh dear. I know that Janet had something against Portia. And I'm not talking about her feelings for you, Reuben. What? How do you know about that? Dear, I don't know much about your work, but your personal life is another case. Why would Janet have a grudge against Portia? Well, I know that Portia has some dirt on Janet. Don't know what it is, but at last year's party, I heard them arguing about it. Why didn't you ever tell me about it? I don't think that would have changed anything, Reuben. Mrs. Bird, before you go, do you mind if I take a picture of you? Oh, not at all, Carla. Anything to help the investigation. Thanks, Mrs. B. We won't keep you any longer. Cat, Carla, please join me in the study. I'd like to discuss the current situation with you. Sure. I'd like to go over the details of what we've learned so far. It seems that Q and Sam spent most of the evening together in the backyard. So either they're both implicated or neither of them had anything to do with Portia's death. I'd say the latter is more likely. I can't see a reason for either of them to kill Portia. Well, speaking of motives, you have the love triangle between Reuben, Portia, and Janet, who apparently pulled Jax into it. But it's not really clear to me why one of them would kill Portia. From what I've seen, Jax gets fits of rage. He doesn't control them very well either. But what grounds could he possibly have had for killing her? It's quite obvious that Jax hated Portia, and people like him can sometimes do irrational things during an outburst. I agree. I've read that people can get rage blackouts and not remember what they've done. What about Margot and Miss Bird? The cameras picked Margot up near the murder scene, right before the murder. Yes, but we confirmed she wasn't lying. She did spill a drink on her top. That's right. Margot went to change her clothes, but we don't know what she did after that. Perhaps. But that applies to all the suspects, to one degree or another. I think we're still missing the evidence we need to determine the killer. The key to it is probably the USB drive we found in Portia's laptop. I believe that whoever killed Portia was trying to obtain information on Ruben's project. Unfortunately, it will take time before we can access any data on that USB drive. For now, all we can do is try to narrow down the list of suspects. Sounds great, but how? I think that's a question for tomorrow. We should all get some rest now. Couldn't agree with you more, Reuben. If you'll excuse me, I'll be off back to my suite. Good night, Dr. Cat. Good night, Carla. Carla, could you keep me company for a bit longer? I'd like to say my last goodbyes to Portia. Of course, I'm here for you. It's 
so hard to see her like this. She did not deserve it. No one does, Reuben. Maybe we should cover her up before you say your last goodbyes. If you could, Carla, there should be some clean sheets somewhere in this room. Thank you, Carla. Portia was a good woman, fierce and loyal, and her loyalty got her killed. It's all my fault. Don't beat yourself up, Reuben. It's not your fault. No one could have seen this coming. I should have, but there's nothing I can do about it now. It's been... I'll stay here a bit longer. I'll lock up afterward. I don't want anyone to disturb her. Good night, Carla. Night, Reuben. I... I shouldn't go in there anymore. Someone's knocking on the door. There's no one here, but wait. What's that on the door? Is that an envelope?
I'd better be reading it inside, away from the rain. Much better. I can open the envelope at the table. This piece is already in the correct place.
no! Someone has been poisoned again! I need to let Reuben know. Someone has been poisoned. We need to act quickly. What? Who has been poisoned? I don't know. I found the letter taped to my door. It says that two people have been poisoned and an antidote is hidden in the sand. Show me the letter. Hmm. If it's true, my best bet would be that the antidote is hidden somewhere on the beach. But have you considered the possibility that someone might be trying to distract you from the investigation? It's possible that it's a sick joke, but who else other than the killer would do it? Anyone with a grudge against you could have left the letter. This isn't a bluff, Reuben. People's lives might be at stake. You're right. I know. I'm just trying to be cautious about this. This is being cautious, Reuben. Let's head to the beach. Right. After you. What exactly are you looking for? We should keep our eyes peeled for a glass vial, probably with some sort of liquid inside.
I found it. There's another note tied around it. What does it say? The first half of the antidote is here. The other half is in the ruins. There will only be enough antidote for... one. They don't have much time. <gasps> Jax and Margot have been poisoned. Kyla, the note said there's only enough antidote for one. It won't save them both. Should we tell them? We shouldn't tell them yet. First, we need to get our hands on the second vial. Let's think about this rationally. We don't even know what's in these vials. You're right. It might be poison. But how can we know? We can analyze it first. I'll go get the analyzer, then come and find you. Great. I'll try to find the second vial in the meantime. The second vial should be in the ruins.
I guess I should combine the contents of the vials now. Let's start by uncorking the vial. Ruben said we should analyze it first, but he's not here yet. Maybe he's still looking for the analyzer. I should go look for him. I was just on the way to see you. I found the analyzer. Have you found the other vial? Yes, and I already come by the contents. Great. Pass the solution over. I'll analyze it. It will only take a second. We're in luck, though. I saw Jax and Margot having breakfast in the dining hall. Just the two of them? That's an odd pair to be together. No, no. There were other people there, too. Ah, it's done. There are no toxins, and the solution is neutral. It should be safe to administer. You can have the solution back. Let's not waste another second and head for the dining hall. All right, let's go. What do you want, Reuben? Jax, calm down. There's something we need to talk about. Where's everyone else? They left already. What's going on here, Reuben? We received a letter about a couple of people being poisoned. I'll come straight out with it. It's Jax and Marco. What? This is no time for jokes, Reuben. You can say that again. I feel absolutely fine. That's probably because the poison hasn't taken effect yet. We have an antidote for it, but only enough for one of you. You're obviously giving the antidote to me, right? I don't know. Be serious, Carla. Margot doesn't deserve it. She ain't good people. She's involved in scandals all over the place. She's a wicked woman. Don't trust her. Jax, I think you should speak for yourself. There's nothing to say. I'm in the public spotlight all the time. Everyone knows everything there is to know about me. Over the past couple of years, your spotlight has clearly been dimming away. You've had more than enough time to work in the shadows. What in tarnation are you talking about? I know about your latest business associates. I'm not the type people can keep secrets from. You keep your damn mouth shut. Oh, what? You're going to hit me? Oops, I probably should be more careful when talking to a mafioso. Jax, what does she mean by mafioso? I don't know what she's talking about. I ain't involved with the mafia. Keep your lies to yourself. I know they've been shunting money in your direction. It's time to tell the truth, Jax. If Jax doesn't say it himself, I'll do it for him. Shut the hell up, will ya? I'll do it myself. Look, I needed money, a lot of it, so I got in bed with the Texas Mafia. It was a simple deal. I launder their money, keeping some of it for myself. Mm. 
What do you need the money for? The plan was to do this until I made enough to make my own blockbuster. <sighs> Jax, do you understand where that money came from? Why didn't you come to me instead? I thought I didn't need you. I thought I could earn the money myself. But they started asking for the payback quicker, and I, I couldn't deliver it. The only way out is to pay them off. God damn it, Jax. Why are you so thick-headed? Back off, Reuben. At least I don't stab my friends in the back. But maybe if you give me the antidote, I'll forgive you. The... Chéri, the mafia he works for is involved in drug trafficking, extortion, and who knows what else. So what? Margot's corporation has affected millions of people. She's given misleading information to the public more times than I can count. Trainer, let's be honest here. Everyone knows you couldn't count if your life depended on it. Carla, don't listen to that wannabe movie star. I've done a lot more good than him. I deserve to live. It shouldn't be about who's done more good or bad in the world. All life is equal. Damn straight it is. Do you hear that, you snake? You won't wriggle your way out of this one. Carla, we need to make a decision. This can't go on any longer. If it was me, I'd give it to Jax. But it shouldn't be just me who decides. Who are we going to give the antidote to? Margot, you deserve the antidote more. Take it. So y'all just condemn me to die? That... that's... what could I have done? How about giving me the antidote, huh? It's a bit late for that. I ain't backing down that easy. What have I done? You're the one who dropped the damn antidote on the floor. Mon Dieu! I dropped it because you tried to grab it off me. Get this in your head, Jax. This is the end of the line. For both of us. Don't despair just yet. We could still go conduct a blood test, identify the poison, and try to reverse it. Let's not forget that we still have the Miraculous. I'll only use it as a last resort. That plant is way too dangerous and experimental for human use. But you seem fine. Maybe I got lucky, but I won't risk it. At least not until there's nothing else left to try. People, everything will be fine if you follow my command. Margo, Jax, you'll come with me. Admiral, I'll need your help in the workshop, too. Carla, I'd like for you to try to figure out where the letter came from. Will do. There's not much to go on, though. Just those letters that seem to have been cut out of a newspaper. Let's try and find that paper. You should ask Mrs. Bird about it. She's responsible for them. She's probably cleaning up in the kitchen after breakfast. All right, I'll ask her.
Don't worry, Miss Page. I'll give Reuben a hand in the workshop. Mrs. B, where do you keep all the newspapers? Sorry, dear, but I disposed of the old issues before everyone arrived on the island. Old news is no news, Reuben says. But we did keep one with Dr. Cat in the headline. Really? Do you know where it is? Last time I saw it, Ms. Lim was reading it in the parlor. Thanks. That's a great help. I'll check there first.
the coffee table will be perfect for examining the newspaper on. There's Dr. Cat's article. It's missing a page. And Janet was last seen with the newspaper. But the blood test results are probably ready. I should go and check in on them in the workshop. Carla, good timing. We just received the results, and it's great news. They don't have a trace of poison in their bodies. That's amazing news. What a weight off my shoulders. It looks like whoever did this was messing with us. No one is in real danger here. Tell that to my poor heart, Ruben. Jax, we'll have to sit down and have a chat soon. But there's something I need to discuss with Carla first. Carla, we should go somewhere more private. We can talk in the basement hall. I need some time to digest what just happened. What would you like to talk about? The letter. I just don't get it. Neither Jax nor Margot were poisoned. Did the culprit deliberately not poison the guests, or was there another purpose for it? I'm sure that someone just wanted to divert our attention away from the case. If that's true, I think they succeeded. What about the newspaper? Did you find it? I have it here. Mind if I have a look at it? Yeah, the font type is the same as in the letter. But how can you be sure it's this newspaper? Well, one of the pages is gone. I'm sure someone took it and made the letter from it. Don't we have more newspapers? It's not exactly valid proof yet. Mrs. B said she threw out all the others. Old news is no news. Does it sound familiar? <laughs> right. That does sound like something I'd say. Mrs. Bird told me the last person she saw with the newspaper was Janet. It's hard for me to believe that Janet would have left the letter. I don't think so either, but that's the only clue I have to go on so far. Also, she's still hiding something. I'm talking about the dirt Portia had on her. I don't like where this is going. I want to sneak in and snoop around in her room. Uh, I knew you'd say that. And I'd like you to find Janet and occupy her while I do so. I don't know. This isn't right. It feels like I'd be lying. And 
manipulating Janet. Ruben, won't you feel better knowing the truth too? I will, but I still hate doing this to her. It's for the greater good. I wouldn't call it that, but all right, I'll do it. I'll send her a text to meet up. Good, she replied. I'll go and meet her right now. She's already left her room. You go ahead, and I'll try to stall her as much as I can. All right, I'll leave the rest to you. Thanks. Time to get to work. Not the time for a break. A simple chair, not much to say about it. A bunch of books, not related to Janet. Nothing of interest here. A bunch of books, not related to Janet. Not the time for a break. A cozy spot to... It's a mirror. A bunch of books. A bunch of books. It's a beautiful cow. A bunch of books. A tree inside a room? A simple chair, not nothing of interest here. Something's blocking the drawer. Maybe I can remove it by hand? It's Janet's invitation to the island. I guess she kept it around. It's Janet's invitation to the island. I guess she kept it around. Is that Janet's diary? Maybe there's a key for it somewhere in the room. I need the key first. Hmm, where could it be? The other piece is blocking the way.
The other piece is blocking the way. I need a piece of paper for it. Well, it's a small key. Hope it's the right fit for the journal. Boy, there's a lot about Jax here. Nothing nice either. What the hell? Why does Janet have a crossed out photo of Portia in her diary? There has to be an explanation in here. Janet's using ghostwriters? If her fan base found out she's ruined, Portia figured it out, somehow, and blackmailed her to stay away from Ruben? Wow, no wonder she hates Portia's guts. I'll leave the diary here, in case Janet decides to use it. I'll keep the photo though. Could Janet really have killed Portia? I should let Ruben in on this. I'll text him. All right, I guess there's no point sticking around in Janet's room any longer. Carla, what were you doing in Miss Lim's room? I went to investigate Janet's room. Oh my. Does it have to do with the newspaper you asked about? It does. Though, I didn't find anything related to it. But I did manage to discover what dirt Portia had on Janet. For the past couple of years, she hasn't been writing. Ghostwriters did most, if not all of the work. I'm sure that her whole career is built upon her name as a writer. It is. That's why if this information got out, it would ruin her career. If Portia knew this and kept it quiet, what would she gain from it? Reuben. She gained Reuben. She threatened to expose Janet if she didn't stay away from him. Portia. She cared for Reuben a lot. But blackmailing Janet, it's too much, even for her. Portia overstepped her boundaries by leaps and bounds with this one. She's always been like that. Crude, and with only the end goal in mind. She never cared about how she got there. 
as long as she did. Either way, this puts Janet in a bad light. It gives her a motive to murder Portia. Mrs. B, can I trust you to keep this a secret for now? Of course, dear. My lips are sealed. But there's something else I'd like to speak with you about. I'm getting worried about how long we can last on this island. What do you mean? Who knows how long this storm will continue? And I don't see help coming anytime soon. We don't have food to last forever, either. Could you try rationing the food? We might be fine for a while. I'm really no good at this sort of thing. I tried using stickers and dividing it like that. But I didn't end up with anything of use. I don't know what to do. Why don't I give it a shot? I might be able to help. That'd be grand, dear. The stickers are back in the kitchen. All right, love. The stickers are over here. I'll grab... I need to distribute the food among all the guests. Why? You did it! Oh, it's nothing. Just glad I could help. I like how modest you are, dear. This wasn't such an easy task. I should know. Well, either way, we should be good for some time. I just wish that the storm would clear up soon. We can only hope for the best. At least we'll have enough food to fill our stomach, our dear. This wasn't such an easy... Well, either way, we should be good for some time. I just wish that the storm would clear up soon. We can only hope for the best. At least we'll have enough food to fill our stomachs for a bit. Okay, I'll go and get some rest. It's been way too tough of a morning. You shouldn't overdo it, dear. I'll try not to.
Ah, traitor number two. Any chance you have another antidote, but this time you'll give it to me? I'm sorry, Jax. I had to choose someone. Yeah, you had to. And you chose Margot instead of me. At least this time, be on my side. What were you speaking about back in the kitchen? We were looking through our current food supplies. We'll be fine for a while. Right. Just carry on lying. I'm not lying. No way I'm trusting you after today. Fine, whatever. Don't tell me what's going on. But I need you to do something for me. You were speaking with Mrs. Bird back in the kitchen, right? Yeah, I spoke with her. She's back in the kitchen. Hmm. Huh. Damn. Why don't you go and grab me a snack from the fridge, then? How about you do it yourself? I would if I could, but Mrs. Bird has me on the ropes. I've been caught red-handed getting some snacks before. She's gotten much stricter lately about it, too. And I think you owe me, considering that you chose to save Margot over me. So you'd do me good by getting a protein bar. Sheesh. Fine. Wait here. I'll be back. Carla, why are you back? Did something happen? No, nothing serious. I know the situation with the food isn't great. But maybe I could grab a quick snack? Of course, that's fine, dear. You deserve it. Let's just keep this our little secret, though, okay? Sure, Mrs. B. Thanks.
Well, as long as this makes Jax a bit happier. Give me the protein bar. All right, thanks. You've done me a solid. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to go back to my room. I ain't stopping you. Still no sign from Reuben. Maybe he's still with Janet? I guess I'll just head back to my room and get some rest for now. Carla, my favorite journalist by far. I never doubted that you'd give me the antidote. It was an obvious choice to give it to you. I'm glad you say that, not just because I'm your boss's boss. Truthfully, dear, I got worried when Jack started dropping dirt on me. Even if what he said is true, it doesn't matter. He was involved with the Mafia. You aren't. And those people are worse than whatever you've done. It's really stating the obvious, don't you think? I have to say, Chérie, people that are loyal to me get rewards fit for their loyalty. So, what do you say about a promotion? Editor-in-chief sounds good? I really appreciate the gesture, but I'm fine. I like what I do right now. Mon Dieu! I didn't expect you to say no. Sorry to disappoint you, but I need a couple more years of experience before taking a job like that. It's your choice, Chérie. I like people that like to earn things the hard way. It's a nice trait. I'm sure you'll get there on your own. By the way, how's the investigation coming along? Have you figured anything out yet? I really can't tell you any details yet. I see. I guess that means you're onto some clues already. What I can say is that we will find whoever is causing this madness. It's only a matter of time. Oh, chérie, you sound so formidable. I believe you will. Well, I shouldn't hold you any longer. You look tired already, and it's not even afternoon. Tell me about it. I think it's time for a nap. Sleep tight, chérie. What's that buzzing? Oh, I think it's my phone.
Well, I've got the fertilizer. What does he even want me to do with it? I should text him. Happening. I need to get my phone. Okay, I think they stopped shooting. I need to find my phone ASAP. Thank goodness, it works. The screen is just cracked a bit. I should let Ruben know what happened. Stay cautious in case the sniper is still around. The plants won't need watering for a while. Carla, I'm glad to see you are in one piece. What happened? Who tried to kill you? I don't know who, but someone took shots at me while I was in the greenhouse. I didn't see anyone, so I believe a sniper rifle might have been used. Damn it. When did this happen? About half an hour ago. Miss Page, why didn't you contact Ruben sooner? The shooter's trail has gone cold by now. I was shot at while trying to text Ruben, and I dropped my phone on the ground. I took cover until I felt like the coast was clear and texted Ruben straight after I retrieved my phone. Wait, why are you here, Admiral? I met him in the foyer and asked him to come along. Is there a problem? No, no problem. The Admiral is trustworthy, and his military expertise will come in handy. Glad to be of help. I'm happy that we are all on the same page here. Now, tell me, Carla, why were you in the greenhouse? Were you following a lead? You asked me to go and get some fertilizer from there. I did what? I never asked you that. What would I need the fertilizer for? I don't know. I received a text from you asking for the fertilizer. You didn't explain why. That can't be right. I never texted you asking that. Unless the culprit hacked into the internal network. Your security system was top grade. Could someone really hack into it? Of course, with enough time and skill, any security system 
can be breached. Carla, Sam, I'll send you a new configuration file to reroute the network. But you'll need to manually connect your phones to it. I don't really understand what will change, but I hope it works. You will be connected to a different internal network that has a more dynamic security system. It's a new type of artificial intelligence security. Never thought I'd need to use it for messaging. It's used for sharing work files internally, so it's as secure as it gets. All right. You should get a notification to connect to the network right about now. Great. It shows that both of you are connected. 
Are you going to switch everyone to this network? Won't the hacker get on it too? Yes, I'll switch everyone to it. I believe the hacker won't be able to do anything on this system. To be more precise, it would take way too long for them to breach it. That's a relief. Since that is settled, maybe we should investigate the greenhouse. It's a good idea. We could try to determine the direction from which they were shooting. Let's not waste another minute then. Carla, lead the way. The bullet seems to have hit the bag. Were you holding it? I was. Guess I'm pretty lucky to be alive right now. Very lucky indeed. While you guys are looking around, I'll take some photos for evidence. The shooter was confident in their skills. Shooting in these weather conditions is no joke. Considering the direction the bullet pierced through the window, I believe that the shot was most likely taken from the lighthouse. The lighthouse is the highest vantage point on the island, so it makes total sense. And the binoculars we found previously... We're used to finding a clear line of sight for the shot. Then, let's not waste any more time and head for the lighthouse. We might find more clues there. Let's look around and see if we can find any traces the shooter might have left. Not enough fuel. I need to refill it. I need a funnel first. I can pour in the fuel now. All that's left is to turn on the generator.
I found nothing. How about you, Sam? Arla nothing either. I found the case, but I don't remember it being here before. Go on. Place it next to the beacon. Let's have a look at what's inside. By any chance, was there a magnetic key next to it? No, only the case. Why do you ask? Well, I have seen such weapon cases while serving the country. You see, there are no ordinary locks or latches, which means it has a magnetic lock mechanism. The only way to open it now is with brute force. But we need some sort of tool that would fit the gap. Sam, take a look around here and see if you can find anything to open it with. Carla and I will go downstairs and try to find a suitable tool as well. All right, let's do that. Carla, before we start looking for a tool, I want to ask what you found in Janet's room. I found Janet's personal journal, and inside of it was this photo. Why? Why would Janet keep Portia's photo in her journal? Was there anything in it that would explain this? Frankly, Portia figured out that Janet had used ghostwriters for the past couple of years. No, that can't be true. Janet's an amazing writer. I read a few of her books. She is really talented, but she might have burned out. And as a best-selling author, you need to put out new books regularly for the readers. That's where the ghostwriters come in to help ride the wave of popularity. You might be right, but it never seemed like there was an issue. However, it is still unclear why the picture would be crossed out. I think Portia and Janet became rivals over time. Portia started blackmailing Janet so she would stay away from you. What? Why? I think Portia thought Janet was... Portia probably got jealous. She knew about the letter Janet sent you. And it is also clear that Portia had feelings for you. Seems it was a competition for your heart. That's why Portia made her stay away? That's madness. Isn't strong love always crazy? However, that's history. What makes me wonder is the present and... Whether Janet could have killed Portia. She is a suspect like anyone else. But the entries in the journal and the photo, they point directly at her. Right now, she is more likely to be the killer than anyone else. Even with these findings, I don't believe Janet could have killed her. Thank you for sharing your finding with me, Carla. All these deaths got me thinking. Is my project even worth it? My idea was to preserve life, not cause more death over it. That's why I have decided not to delay it anymore and introduce everyone to it today. Are you sure about this? I'm not saying it isn't the right time, but it might be dangerous. I don't think it is more dangerous than still keeping it a secret. Too many people were killed or hurt because of this project already. So, yes, I'm sure. And it's not likely that anyone is leaving the island soon in this storm. Well, I can't argue with that. Seems you already have your mind made up. I guess you do what you gotta do. Anyway, maybe we should get back to looking for the tool. There should be some tools in the shed. 
Let's see if we can find a crowbar or something similar to it. Let's have a look.
I found the crowbar. Great. Let's head back to the lighthouse. Let's get back to Sam. Finally, you're back. What the hell took you so long? We were searching for a proper tool to do the job, but we hoped the case would already be open. Well, it isn't. Couldn't find anything to open it within this damn place. Did you manage to find something useful? I've got a crowbar. What are you standing there for? The case is right over there. It's the sniper rifle. I'd better take a photo. I'll be damned. It's an actual sniper rifle in the case. But why would they leave the rifle here? The case is rather heavy. Someone might have decided it would be quicker to just leave it behind. I think that might be true. They failed to hit their target, their position was exposed, and there's quite a distance back to the mansion. It's still a hell of an assumption, Sam. I don't know if I can believe they left the sniper rifle to make a quick getaway. Either way, the bigger question is, what are we going to do with the rifle? What else? We get rid of it. It's too dangerous to keep around. I disagree. It's better to keep it and investigate it. Maybe it will give us a hint as to who might be the shooter. Do you really want to risk getting the weapon stolen and used against us again? That won't happen. I'll store it securely, and then we can examine it. Ruben, where would you even put the sniper rifle? I have a couple of places around the mansion that could keep it secure. Not disposing of it is just a security risk, nothing more. Carla, it's up to you now. Majority decides. I say we keep the sniper rifle. Sam wants to throw it away. What do you say? I'm with Ruben on this one. We should keep it and inspect it further. I knew you'd be on my side. Thanks, Carla. I'll take this back to the mansion and store it securely. You're making a mistake. The decision has been made, Admiral. allow you to make a mistake, Ruben. God damn it, Sam! It could have led us to the killer. It would only put us in danger. I really hope you know what you're doing. I'll go prepare for the announcement. Admiral, did you see the... What the hell is Ruben talking about? What announcement? Right. He'll be introducing us to Project Genetica. Is he mad? The culprit is after the project, and he's planning to show it off? Admiral, people need to know why all of this is happening. No, not if the murderer gets their hands on what they want. 
Reuben won't let that happen. He has a plan. All right. I'll speak to him about it later. You can try, but I think he already has his mind made up. Also, I was trying to ask you earlier, did you see a metal piece fall out of the case? What metal piece? Not sure. I only caught a glimpse of it, but I think it should still be around somewhere. It might give us a clue about the shooter. Let's find it. It's an emblem of an eye. Hmm, it looks familiar. It might be a major clue. Have you seen it before? I can't recall, but I'm certain I've seen the shape of it somewhere. There's a hole in the middle of the eye. It seems to be missing a piece. Could you give me the emblem, Miss Page? I want to have a closer look at it. Hmm. It definitely looks familiar, but I can't remember where I saw it. Maybe if we found the missing piece, it would trigger your memory. I was thinking. It fell out of the case, so it has something to do with the shooter. And previously, we found the sniper rifle bullet in the cavern. You think we might find the missing piece there? Well, it's worth a shot, don't you think? Doesn't seem we have anything else to go on with, so why not? This place is huge. It will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Then we better get started. Well, you're probably right. We're here already, so let's give it a try. Won't open without a key.
you manage to find anything, Miss Page? I think so. Could you give me the emblem? I need to check if it fits. Sure. Take it. I've put it together. Maybe this will help you remember. Oh, no! I remember that damn triangle pupil. Mon Admiral, what is it? It's an old conspiracy theory. Soldiers used to joke about it back in the day. This emblem represents a group of very powerful people called the Overseers. They are the ones that make the world spin. Any direction they please. No one has any proof they even exist. The only thing that's ever recorded is this triangle pupil. Those overseers might be the ones behind all this. It's a conspiracy theory, Ms. Page. Believing it is the same as believing a goddamn fairy tale. But this emblem is real, and it's here. I just don't believe the Overseers are real. This emblem doesn't prove anything. You might be right. It does sound like fiction. Indeed. Because if it isn't, we're in deep waters. What? Why would you say that? None of the stories I've heard about the Overseers end happily for anyone involved. What stories did you hear? I heard a fair number of them. But I recall eyes of Alicia and barking dogs most vividly. The first one is about a royal family's jewels, which piqued the interest of the overseers. The second one is about how they overthrew a family of mobsters. Could I hear one of them? Which do you want to hear? Eyes of Alicia about the royal family's jewels, or barking dogs about the mobster family? I'd like to hear Eyes of Alicia. All right. The story takes place in Germany in the very early 1900s. A royal family was showcasing their family jewels in Munich. The exhibition's main attraction was the so-called Eyes of Alicia. The overseers wanted to obtain these jewels and offered huge sums of money for them, but the family refused. Why did the family refuse to sell? First of all, they probably didn't know who was asking. And second, selling family heirlooms is not something a royal family would even consider. So what happened then? Well, this is where the story takes a dark turn. Everyone learned that day that you don't say no to the overseers. The eyes of Alicia were stolen and replaced with... With what? The real eyes of the head of the family, alongside an emblem just like the one you're holding right now. Come on. Is there any proof of this? Only an old sketch of the emblem. The rest is just rumors. Folk tales. That's why I said the group is just a myth. You don't mind me asking, but where did this story come from? It was one of the first stories I heard about the Overseers when I started my career in the military. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go speak to Reuben about his newfound openness about the project. I'd like to join you. Miss Page, I'd prefer if you weren't involved in the conversation. This is non-negotiable. We could have at least gone back to the mansion together, and he just ran off. Well, whatever. 
I should grab a photo of the emblem before I leave. Nothing more to do here. Guess I should head back to the mansion then. Huh? What is Jax doing over there? Carla, good timing. I need your help. My door got jammed and I can't get in. What can I do to help? I've been looking for a lubricant spray to loosen up the lock, but I couldn't find any in the greenhouse. Um... What about the security room? Maybe Lucas had some. That's a good idea. I haven't checked there yet. I'll go try and find it. You have another go at that lock in the meantime. Thanks, Carla. Lucas looked like a handy guy. He must have kept a lubricant spray around.
Jax, I found the spray. Great. Try applying it to the lock. My work here is done. Hold it. I need to talk to you. Come into my place. Can't we just talk outside? I don't want any prying ears to overhear us. So if you don't mind, come on in. What do you think? It's the best suite in this mansion, right? Sorry to disappoint you, Jax, but my room is way cooler. I have an aquarium as a floor. All right, can we agree to disagree on that one? Okay, Jax, so down to business. What did you want to talk about? Look, I know I haven't made the best impression, and I acted up on several occasions. But I wanted to tell you that I'm sorry, and I hope we can look out for each other. Okay. I could agree to this arrangement, but... But what? But, as allies, we should be honest with each other. Yet you're trying to hide your involvement with the Mafia. That Mafia business, it's not important right now. It's up to you, Jax. If you want to be allies, you've got to prove I can trust you first. Ain't you the sly fox? Look, I already told you everything about it before. Come on, Jax. Why did you start laundering money for the Mafia? As I already said, I needed money, and I wanted to get it on my own. That's it. I don't get it. Why would you go to such extremes instead of asking Ruben? Because I, I wanted to prove to Ruben that I didn't need him. That I could handle things on my own. Let me tell you a little story. It should paint a better picture of why I did what I did. Ruben and I became friends when we were students. From what I figured, you were very close, right? Very. We were best buds. Actually, I can even show you. I have a picture on my phone. Damn it, where is it? Where'd I put my phone this time? Shall I help you look for it? If you wouldn't mind, a second pair of eyes is always handy. I need to fill in the other shapes, too. I need to lift it up somehow.
What's that? A USB key? Did Jax bring his laptop too? Did you find my phone by any chance? Nope. Not yet. Do you have those photos on your laptop by any chance? What? Uh, I do, but I didn't bring it with me. Oh, never mind then. I'll keep looking for your phone. Why would Jax have a USB key with no laptop around? Something's off here. I'd better look into it later. I found it! Great! Let me show you the photo. Look, it's me and Ruben on the day we met. You both look so happy. Ruben always used to help me out, but sometimes it felt like he was my... It pissed me off so much, as if I couldn't do anything without him. Is that why you decided to get in bed with the Mafia, instead of asking for Ruben's help? Damn straight! I don't need him to babysit me. I can take care of myself. Even if it means associating with the wrong people. Sometimes it felt like he... It pissed me off so much. As Is that why you decided to get in bed with the Mafia? Dams, even if it means associating with the wrong people. I think I understand you. You just wanted to leave the nest and fly with your own wings. Right, exactly. You got it. Either way, it doesn't matter now. In the end, I failed, and I'll need his help to get out of debt. Now you know everything there is to know. Happy. I'm happy that you were finally honest with me. Good. You ain't gonna hear me whining again about trying to do things my way. All right, Jax. This conversation obviously hit a nerve, but I'll accept your partnership off. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to be left alone for a bit. Of course. Oh, looks like I just got a new message. What's up? What did you want to talk about? We're going to confront Janet about Portia blackmailing her. Good idea. We need to know more about it. It might help us clear the air and figure out whether she had anything to... I totally agree. Before we go, have you spoken to the Admiral? I have. He had some concerns about my idea of revealing the project, but it's all been dealt with. And when are you planning to reveal it? I'll get everyone together after we talk to Janet. She's on the veranda right now.
All right, let's go. Janet, we need to talk to you. We know Portia was blackmailing you. Excuse me? Portia blackmailing me? I don't know what you're talking about. There's no point lying, Janet. We know what happened. You have to come clean, Janet. It's the only way to move forward. Mm, okay, mind telling me exactly what you're talking about? We know you have ghostwriters working for you. That's just absurd. And we also know that Portia was using this information to blackmail you. That's just... how? I'm ruined! This is it. The secret's out. Just... Ruben, promise me this won't get out. If the fans find out that I use ghostwriters... How did Portia learn about you using ghostwriters? She... she heard me talking to my editor on the phone at last year's party. And then she blackmailed me to stay away from Ruben. Janet, I... I'm so sorry to hear this. If I'd only known... Can you tell us again what you were doing in Portia's suite? I went there to make sure Portia wouldn't reveal anything more than she already had. I guess you were quite angry about Portia telling Jax about the love letter you sent Ruben too. Is this yet another interrogation? Ruben! Since when do you treat your guests like this? First you get a journalist to dig up my secret, and then you have the nerve to accuse me of something I didn't do? Don't you have any decency left? Janet, you have to understand the situation. Just leave me alone! She... she needs time. Let's leave her alone for now. Yeah, okay. But I think the time has come. Time for what? Come with me to the wine cellar. I'll explain. Okay, we're here. Care to explain what it's time for? You wanted to see Project Genetica, right?
Yes, what's going on? Are you going to reveal it now? I am, indeed. The entrance to it lies just behind these shelves. I can't wait! I've been looking forward to the big reveal since I got here. I've been looking forward to this moment for a really long time myself. I just didn't expect it to happen in these circumstances. Ah, damn it. What's wrong? There's a bug in the software that I haven't fixed yet, and it causes one of the microchips to malfunction. But no need to panic. I have a spare with me. We just need something to open the panel with. I'll have a look around. Maybe I'll find something useful. Anything with a sharp edge should work. In the meantime, I'll text everyone to come here. I don't think Janet will be joining us, though.
I found a chisel. Would that work? It should. Try and pry it open. I should use the chisel to open the panel. Good. Now we need to remove the faulty chip. It's not the faulty chip. I should put the new microchip in. Good. Everyone's here. It's time you knew the truth. We believe the murderer is after one of my projects. So making wine is your top secret project now? Um, no. I believe what I'm doing is on a slightly bigger scale. Spit it out then, Reuben. Stop beating around the bush and show us. Behind me is the reason I invited you all to the island in the first place. <gasps> I would like to ask all of you to step into the elevator. What I am about to show you is my biggest achievement yet. Hold on tight. Next stop, Haven. This place looks amazing. I bet you all have a bunch of questions. This facility, when did you build all of this? I built it around the same time I moved over here. I needed a place to do my real work. Your real work, huh? <laughs> So the billion-dollar company is just a side hustle? Not quite. You see, I consider it to be like a propeller. It plays a part, but it's not the whole play. What part of the plane would your haven be? If the company is the propeller, Haven would be the cockpit. Oh, my dear! I hadn't the slightest idea you had something like this down here. Haven is a place where I can conduct any experiments I wish. It required the utmost secrecy. I didn't feel great about keeping it a secret from you, Georgiana, but it was necessary. Damn right it was. Now, enough of the chit-chat, Ruben. Let's go see that project of yours.
All right. Through the front entrance, please. Senor, I hope you don't find my asking, but what is behind that large door at the... <laughs> For a moment, I thought no one was going to ask. Behind that door is my most precious project. It's where I keep Project G... I can officially say that you've piqued my interest. I'm quite excited to find out what's behind that door, too. Let's keep moving then, shall we? Well, before we go inside, there's something we need. Sure. What do you need? Some type of tech to unlock that door? Maybe protective gear? No and no. I don't need any of that. It's something entirely different. Um, what is it then? I need to find a small device. I think the last time I saw it was back in the creative hub. Carla, you can join me if you'd like. A little sightseeing might be good for the article. All right, why not? Follow me then, Carla. The rest of you, please be patient and wait here. We'll be back shortly. Welcome to the Creative Hub. It's a lot of space for just one person to be creative in. <laughs> Who said it's only for one? What do you mean? I think that's a story worth telling when we have a bit more time. I'd prefer not to leave the others waiting too long. Of course. I'll just grab a quick photo. This needs to be documented. Go right ahead. Hmm. I can't see the device. Would you mind helping me out? Okay. What exactly am I looking for? A device? Right. It's a handheld games console. A handheld games console? Why on earth would you need something like that right now? Trust me, it's important. If you need it, then we need it. Thanks for understanding, Carla. No biggie. Let's search. Nope, that's the wrong button.
You found it. Great. We can go back and join the others in the hallway. Seriously, though, why do we need this? For now, let's head back to the others. You'll find out what it's for in a moment. If everyone's ready, it's time to show you what Project Genetica is all about. <gasps> Mon Dieu! This is magnificent! Oh my! How could a place like this be underground? If you're surprised by this, I wonder what you'll say in a second. Okay, everyone. Stay very still now. You might scare her away. Scare who? Genie! Come out! <gasps> everyone. Meet Jeannie. She's over 65 years old. About six months ago, she was on her deathbed. But thanks to Project Genetica, we were able to give her a second life. I see you all have questions, but it looks like Jeannie is getting a bit antsy with so many people around. Carla, can you give her the game console? It's her favorite toy. Okay, the console makes more sense now. I expected her to get a little anxious with all the new people around. The console helps to distract her a bit. It'll do you good to befriend her, too. All right, then. Okay, I think this will keep her occupied for a bit. So, any questions? You're a total hoot, Ruben. I can't believe your biggest project is a chimpanzee. That is not a question, Jax. Your immature comments are getting old rather fast. Don't mind him, Reuben. I'm a bit awestruck by this project myself. How does Jeannie look so young? She doesn't just look young. She is young. Mon Dieu! What are you saying here, Reuben? Did you rejuvenate her somehow? That's right. You could say she's been made young again. That's basically what Project Genetica is. So, what is it then? Some sort of gene modification? Exactly. Using gene modification, we made a breakthrough in restoring the cells, tissues, and organs of the body. With just one serum injection, Living tissue renews itself. Have the tests for it only been run on little genie? First, specific animal tissues were used for testing. Once we were getting good results, we moved on to mice trials. And by the end of those trials, the serum was showing incredible results. The modified cells actually started aging slower than the original ones. How much slower? Given our current estimations, they'll last up to 200 years. <laughs> That's astonishing, Ruben. Senor, I, I 
can't believe it. That would change everything. I guess that's at least a better cause for people to die over rather than just that little chimpanzee. People shouldn't be dying over this. I just want everyone to live a better life. I think that's enough information about the project. Everyone, I'd like for you to follow me. There's something else I want to show you. I'd like for Carla to stay behind. If you insist, Reuben. As for the rest of us, let's go. Why did you want me to stay? You're a journalist, Carla. And this scoop is one of the reasons you're here. So, I figured it's as good a time for an interview as any. What are we waiting for, then? I'll write it up. I knew I could count on you, Carla. It's really important that the public hears about this project. Why is that? This is a dangerous technology, Carla. If it gets into the wrong hands, it could lead to even greater divisions in society. Right. I think we've gotten off to a high-octane start here. Let's slow down a bit. Why don't you take a photo with me and Jeannie for the article first? Yeah, of course. Well, I'm surprised she stayed so still as long as she did. If we get her favorite treat, she'll come out again. Do you have one on you? No, but do you see the screen on the wall to the side? It's used to test Jeannie's cognitive abilities. If she passes a test, it automatically drops a treat for her. So you're saying, if we beat her test, we can get a treat to call her back out? Precisely. Okay, we can try that. A separate room, I guess for monitoring? Bad chance, she's not coming. It actually looks like a fun playground. It actually looks like a... It actually looks like a... The test is by the wall on the right-hand side. Let's see if I can find all the pairs.
Let's see if I can find all the pairs. Ginny's hiding in the bush. She'll come out if you give her the treat. No problem. Pretty sure Ginny and I will get along very well. Glad to hear it. She won't bite. You're practically friends now. All right, grab a photo while she's still standing here. Now, for the interview part. Is there anything else you'd like to know about Project Genetica? Did you make the gene modifier yourself? <laughs> no. No way. I had a very talented team of scientists down here with me to help me complete it. I did have the initial idea, though. But it's Genie who got us to the finish line. Could you tell me more about her? No problem. What would you like to know about Genie? Why was she chosen for the trials? There was a zoologist on our team who also worked at the Great Ape Sanctuary. He often talked about a chimpanzee named Genie 
who he took care of, saying that her condition was worsening with each visit. He was so attached to her and believed the only thing that could save her was our serum. Once we successfully completed the mice trials, he arranged for her to be brought here. She was practically on her deathbed at the time. It was a leap of faith for all of us, including Jeannie. And you know what? It paid off. We couldn't have been happier. Our project had saved its first life. That's beautiful, Reuben. Um, there's still one thing bothering me, though. What's your end goal with this project? To minimize the suffering of every human in the world. There's no doubt in my mind that you'll pull it off. Thanks, Carla. That means a lot. I really hope so, too. Now, Carla, let me ask you something. What do you think about Project Genetica? I think this will change human society as we know it. It'll be the biggest thing since the internet. <laughs> if that's the case, then I have nothing to worry about. All right. I think that will be enough info for your article. So, let's head back to the mansion. Oh, no. I think Jeannie stole my phone again. I can't go back without it. Sounds like it's not the first time. No. She's done it plenty before. She even breaks out of her room and steals items from the lab. She usually hides it with the rest of her stash. I bet my phone will be there too. It's back in Genetica Keep. I'll help you look for it. I need to find all the missing pieces. I need to find a bigger piece first. I need to find a bigger piece first. I need to find all the missing pieces.
Thank you, Carla. Shall we head back then? Yeah, let's go. After you. Just in time for the party. Jax, did you do something stupid? No, I haven't done anything. Sam just thought it would be a good idea to search us all. That's right. I gave him permission to try and catch the murderer off guard. Sam, did you find anything? No, but I haven't checked everyone yet. Ms. Page, for instance. There's too many of us, so I'd like for the guests to search each other. Look for anything out of the ordinary. Perhaps an item from Haven, or something similar. I'm not a fan of all this, but fine. I hope it will help with the investigation. Reuben, I'd like for you to check Q. Ms. Page, decide with Mrs. Bird which of you will search Margot, and which will search Dr. Cat. They'll search you after. Margo, I'll search you. Brilliant. No need to waste our breath any longer. Let's get this over with. Okay, dear. I'll search Dr. Cat then. Shiri, let's be quick about this. Siri, please. I don't like people going through my pockets. Especially the pockets on clothes I'm wearing. I'll turn them out myself. Ah, what on earth is this? It looks like a data sheet. I, uh, I, I can explain. Mrs. Bird, can I have a look at it? Of course, dear. See? Nothing more than a lighter. All right. You can search me now. I think we already found our suspect. It's not what you think. Catherine, I'd like for you to be quiet for a moment. You know, I expected this from you, least of anyone. Cat, why on earth do you have data about Genie? Reuben, I saw the sheet back in Genetica Keep. I noticed there was an issue with the assessment of Genie's vitals. I figured I could talk to you about the data after we left. Why did you want to speak with him afterward? He was right there. I realize how sensitive the project is. I thought this would be better done behind closed doors. I get it, but you should have told me as soon as you found it, Cat. I think she's telling the truth. I just don't see Dr. Cat being the villain here. Thanks, Carla. I have to assess every situation impartially. This is no different, Catherine. It's not looking pretty for you at the moment. Look, Sam, before you pass judgment, think about this. Why would she stay by my side to try and cure me? Try is the operative word in that sentence, Reuben. She didn't heal you, did she? Well, not exactly. But she had so many opportunities to kill me, too. Why didn't she? Have you considered the possibility that killing you wasn't initially the main objective? How else could you have survived so long after your poisoning? I... I hadn't considered that. It might have been scare tactics or a diversion to keep us busy while they focused on another goal. 
As things stand, I consider Dr. Cat a threat. She'll be locked in her room until I figure this out. Hell yeah! Finally, someone's getting things done around this place. I'll help. Sam, you're making a mistake here. This is about more than just you, Ruben. This is a threat to the progress of humankind. As a government official, I'll use all my power to stop it any way I can. People, please. Can we just get out of here? I've had enough drama over the past hour to last a lifetime. All right, everyone, the show's over. Leave this place right away. I don't know whether Dr. Cat really is a threat. I guess the only way to find out is to get to the truth. It's a bench. Looks comfy. It's a bench. Looks comfy. Wait! I still have that USB key I found in Jax's suite. It might have something important on it. Maybe I could check it on Lucas's PC. Let's start by turning Lucas's PC on. I have to turn on the computer first. Perhaps the cable's not in. Perhaps the cable's not in. It's dead. Great. Did it malfunction with the camera system before? Well, there was a TV back in the game room. Pretty sure it could read a USB key. Hey, Mrs. B. Why are you cleaning? Wouldn't it be better just to relax a bit after all that just happened? This is my way of relaxing, Carla. It's my way of coping with all that Reuben showed us today. It is a lot to deal with. I get it. But it's all to improve the quality of human life. I know, dear. It's just that cleaning helps me to calm down. That said, sometimes I do end up losing track of time. All right, then. I'll leave you to it. I just need to use the TV, if it doesn't bother you. Of course not. Go ahead, dear. I need to find an empty port for the USB key first. That's not the port I need. That's not the port I need. Okay, now to insert the USB key. I just need the remote. Maybe Mrs. B knows where it is. Mrs. B, have you seen the TV remote by any chance? I haven't seen it here, but Freddy used the TV all the time. Maybe he took it back to his room. Knowing him, he might have. It's worth a try. Thanks.
time to see what Jax has on that USB key. I see you found the TV remote. Good. I don't need to use the picture settings. A bit... This is security camera footage. My poor boy. They were fighting. What's worse, it seems that Freddy killed Lucas by accident. Oh my. Carla, where did you get this video? I found the USB key in Jax's room. I thought there was no recoverable footage from the security cameras. Apparently there was. We were just too slow to find it before. What do you mean, dear? I guess someone broke into the security room after Lucas's death before we got there. They transferred the footage onto this USB key and deleted any other evidence. But if you found this USB key in Jackson's room, does that mean that he is... He might be the one that murdered Freddy. Freddy and Jax did bark at each other whenever they got a chance. But... If Jax had the footage from the start, then why would they fight? Basically, Jax should have had Freddy under his foot. It does seem odd. There must be something that I'm missing here. But this is too big to keep quiet on. I need to take action. What are you going to do? I'm going to tell Reuben what I found out. In your shoes, I'd do the same. I saw Reuben heading upstairs before, probably back to his study. Got it, thanks. Ruben's not here. Maybe he's back in his room. Ruben? Oh, Carla, I didn't hear you come in. What's up? I found another USB key, and I think you should see what's on it yourself. Another one? Let me check. I don't know what to say. 
The most unsettling thing is that I found this USB key in Jax's room. What? Why would Jax have that? That's what I'd like to know. Have you spoken to him yet? No. I thought I should get back up first. You don't need to ask. I'm coming with you. Thanks. I thought we should start looking for Jax back in his room. I'm right behind you. Lead the way. Goodness sake, what do you want now? In your room, I found a USB key containing the security footage of Freddy killing Lucas. All we want is to understand how it ended up here. You're joking, right? No, Jax, we are not. I ain't got nothing to do with no USB key. I didn't even bring a laptop to this place. What use would I have for it? Why don't you start talking first? How about you shut the hell up? Who even put you in charge here? Ruben, tell me who found the USB key in my room. Was it Carla? It was. Then she could have easily planted it here. Why don't you finally enlighten me? How you trust her more than me? I... Listen. Let's go speak outside about this. Carla, please stay here. I'd like to talk to Jax in private. Another chance to investigate the room. Maybe I missed something before. Thank you. 
a fake red nail. How did it end up here? I'd better let them in on this. Carla, I thought I asked you to wait inside. It couldn't wait. I think I found something important. What did you find, Carla? I found a fake red nail in Jax's suite. You seriously went through my stuff again? No wonder you're Jax. That's enough. Fine. Whatever. What about this fake red nail, then? Where did that come from? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. How the hell should I know? Jax, you're the one staying in this room, aren't you? Look, no one else has been in there besides Janet and me. I'm certain it ain't Janet's nail, either. She usually colors her nails white. Agreed. I've never seen Janet with red nail polish, either. Any chance that the fake nail belonged to Dr. Cat? I seriously doubt it. I think I've seen Cat only once or twice with nail extensions in my lifetime. And those times were on television sets. Who's left then? Portia? Like it could be Porsche's. No, it couldn't be. Porsche never liked red. Didn't suit her, she said. I remember that Margot had her nails done red. Hmm. Jax, did Margot ever come into your room? Um, nope, not that I'm aware of. All right. I'll go speak with Margot. Need to make sure that the nail belongs to her. All right. Please do. Hopefully Margot will be back in her suite. Marco's not here. Well, she won't be that mad if I had a quick look in her makeup case, right?
I just need to find a place to put it down. The sideboard should do just fine. I should place the makeup case here. Nothing. The color of the nail polish and the nail match. The fake nail must be marked. I should take a photo before I leave. I need to speak with Margot to figure out how... Where could Margot be? I should go look around. Oh, Hugh's here. Maybe he's seen her around. Thank you. Sorry to bother, but have you seen Margot by any chance? See, si, senorita. When I first came to check the drain, I saw her going to the courtyard. Hmm. Did you see her coming back? I uh, couldn't tell. I just came back myself. I went to grab the drain rod from the greenhouse. Okay. Thanks for your help. Did Margot go to speak with Dr. Cat? But why? Only one way to find... Say hello. Sorry, not this time. I'd be surprised otherwise. Why are you here? I'm looking for Margot. Have you seen her? Yes, she was here, but she left a while ago. Do you know to where? I didn't bother to ask. Perhaps Catherine can help you more. Margot came to visit her after all. You let Dr. Cat be visited? I thought you said she's a threat to the progress of humankind. Truth be told, I don't want to believe that she is. For now, my only concern is to keep her in the suite where she can't take any other classified documents. No one's stopping you to go and speak with her. Dr. Cat, how are you holding up? Hi, Carla. I can't say that I'm doing great. I'm being treated like a prisoner. Do you know for how long he's going to keep you here? Um, I'm sure Sam said as long as it takes. I guess I deserve it for taking Jeannie's report without asking. You can't change the past, but 
You can definitely learn from it. You know, I'd expect to hear something like this from Reuben. You do remind me of him sometimes. Either way, next time I'll know that I shouldn't stick my nose where it doesn't belong. Now then, why are you here? Knowing you, it's more than just a quick visit. Actually, I'm looking for Margot. I heard that she was here. Oh, right. She left a little bit ago, but said that she'll be back shortly. Why did she come here? To my surprise, she came to check in on me. Didn't expect her to care, to be honest. Is that it? Did she ask you anything while she was here? Not either. Now that actually, I'm looking for Margot. Oh, right. She left a little bit ago, but said that she'll be back shortly. Why did she come here? To my surprise, she came to check in on me. Didn't expect her to care, to be honest. Is that it? Did she ask you anything while she was here? Hmm. She did ask me why I took the sheet on Jeannie's vitals. Wait, Carl, I'm not sure just yet. Do you mind if I stay and wait with you for Margot to return? Of course. I trust that whatever your reason is, it's important. Well then, should we play a board game while we wait? Yeah, I'd love that. Do you have anything in mind? How about four in a row? I saw a box lying around somewhere in my suite. Sounds good to me. We just need to find it.
found it. We can play on the table. I've cleared up some space. Perfect. Let's decide on team colors then. Would you like to go with red or blue? I'd like to go with blue. Blue it is. All right, let's play. It's my turn to start now. I think I just got lucky in this game. Do you want to play again? I think I'm all right. I know when I'm beaten. No worries, we can just chat while we wait. Sorry, I'm so late. It took me ages to find it. Oh, chérie, what a lovely surprise. What are you doing here? I have the same question for you. I'm here on a special delivery for Catherine. I think she'll be pleased. No way. Don't tell me this is a cover for my new science book for kids. Margo, why do you have this? Chiri, please. Who do you think made that lovely unpublished cover for your new book? Ruben asked me to get some of my best people on it. Do you like it? I love it. That's wonderful. Next time, you know who to call. Now, Carla, my lovely, you didn't answer the question before. Why are you here? If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Of course. It seems to be rather important if you've been sitting here waiting for me. What business did you have in Jax's room? Excuse me? I have never set foot inside that lowlife's room. All right. Well, before we continue with the conversation, could you tell me if you recognize this? Of course, chérie. This fake nail is yours, isn't it? I... yes, but how did you know it's mine? Mm. 
the nail color matched with the red nail polish from your room. Siri, I can't believe you went into my room. I was just following the clues. They led me to your room and the nail polish. But what does any of this have to do with me being in Jax's suite? I found a USB in his room that contained the security footage of Lucas's death. It's where I also found a fake red nail that perfectly matches your nail polish. Now, mind explaining how that footage and your nail ended up in Jax's room? I... have you spoken with Jax about this? Yes, I have. He said you never entered his room. Of course he did. Shiri, whatever Jax told you, he lied. And why exactly should I trust you over him? Look, I didn't want to say anything at first since Jax asked me to keep quiet about it. But I did go to his room because... I slept with him. You and Jackson. Yeah, I can see that happening. Why would you not? I'm a powerful woman. I do as I please. Jackson, and Margo? I did not see that coming. When did you sleep with him? It was the same night the boat burnt up. It was the same night Freddy died, wasn't it? Um, I suppose so. You did find him the next day. When exactly did you meet up with Jax? I was having a drink in the club room late at night when Jax showed up. We talked, had a few drinks. Then one thing led to another and we went back to his room. Do you have any proof of this? I did save a photo we took that night on one of Ruben's instant cameras. Classy, I know. <laughs> the photo is in my purse, but I might have left it back in the veranda when I went for a smoke. You don't mind if I go and get it? The photo should be a big help in getting Jax to talk. Of course. Be my guest. Dr. Cat will stay under surveillance until further notice.
Marco didn't lie about the photo. I should find Jax. No one's here. dear what brings you down here have you seen Jax around no I haven't is this about the USB with security footage did Jax have something to do with Freddy's murder there is still a lot of uncertainty in the air I just can't pin it down on anyone yet do you have any leads with which to go on Kind of. I'm trying to understand who's lying and why. If I'm lucky, someone will slip up on their own lies. Hopefully that will point me in the right direction. Just remember, if you need anything, you can always come to me. Thanks. Will do. We'll talk more later. Maybe he went back to his suite. Jax, I need to speak with you. Could you just give it a rest already? After this talk, I will. Thank God. Let's get this over with. Uh, what do you want? I know you and Margo slept together. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe this photo will help refresh your memory. Damn that woman. Couldn't keep her mouth shut after all. To be clear, I had nothing to do with the footage on the USB key you found in my room. That's a fact. But I admit that I lied about Margot being in my room. Why did you lie about it? Pretty obvious, don't you think? I didn't want anyone to find out I had a one-night stand with her. If you're so troubled about it, then why sleep with her in the first place? That night, Margot gave me comfort and calm I couldn't get from Janet. For Janet, I had to be the strong one. I, I had to be the pillar she could lean on. When the boat burned up, I was there with Janet until she cried herself to sleep. But who was there for me? Do you even care how Janet will feel once she finds out? Of course I do, but there's nothing I can do to change that now. You need to be honest and tell Janet. Mm, not happening. This will push her over the edge. Jax, this is your only chance to make amends. Finding out later will only hurt her more. You're right, you're right. I'll do it. She's back in her suite.
I, I need to tell you something, Janet. Something that I am ashamed of. I slept with Margot a few days ago. You? Her? No, no. That can't be. Carla, you gotta help me. Carla, can you please find the inhaler? She usually keeps it in the drawer by the bed. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> I don't see an inhaler in here. There's no canister in the inhaler. Just look around for it. She usually brings spares. There has to be one around here. Found it. I just need to put the canister into the inhaler. <coughs> Thank you, Carla. Jax, I think it's time for you to leave. Janet, I just... You said enough. Just go. Carla, thank you again. With all the stress I've been through since coming here, my asthma attacks are becoming more frequent. No biggie. I just can't believe Jax would sleep with someone else. I may be in love with Reuben, but I'd never sleep with him while I'm still with Jax. It wouldn't be right. I mean, he slept with Margot. Of all people, too! What Jax did is disrespectful to any relationship. He shouldn't have done it. Honestly, I didn't exactly push our relationship any further myself. But why are you getting involved in all of this? I was only trying to find out the truth. That's what I do nowadays. And how's that working out? To be honest, not great. I stumble upon more questions than answers. I see. Carla, if it's okay with you, I'd like to be left alone for now. I understand. I'll talk to you later. I just received a text message.
I'm glad you could join me. Reuben, there's actually something I need to tell you. It's about Jax and Janet. Whatever it is, can it wait until after the interview? With everything that's going on, Reuben, I don't know if it's a good time to continue the interview. Perhaps. But who knows if we will get another opportunity to do this. You might be right. And what type of journalist would I be if I said no now? So, what are we going to talk about? I want the world to know as much as they can about me and what I stand for. I'd like this part of the interview to be about my family and childhood. Ask me anything. Let's start this off by talking about your parents. What were they like? Well, my father was a fisherman. A strong, smart, hard-working man. My mother was a kind but stubborn soul. Worked in the local market as a salesperson. With her assisting you, you'd better have been ready to buy more than you planned. <laughs> I actually took some photo slides out to show you the city and my family. Yes, please. I'd love to get an exclusive like that, right from Mr. Navarro's vault. All right. You can find these slides already loaded into the projector. You should look them through before I get into any more details. Favorite pastime is reading.
You lived in a beautiful city. I sure did. Some of my most treasured childhood memories come from there. Wow, you look just like your dad. <laughs> I guess you're right. I did end up looking just like him. Maybe someday, your child will end up looking just like you. Have you ever considered starting a family? I did, once, before. Carla, mm -hmm. I actually... What's going on, Ruben? Someone just broke into Haven. What are we standing here for? We need to go there now. First, we'll need to disable the alarm system with my security keycard. Please, grab it from the hidden stash in the study. And what will you do? It might be dangerous to go alone. I'll ask Sam for help. Once I get him, let's meet up in the kitchen. Understood.
found it! I should go meet Reuben and the Admiral in the kitchen. They're not here yet? Sorry, Ruben. I can't just stand around here and wait. If I don't act now, the intruder might get away. I need to disable the security system. Is there a security panel in here? That must be it. I should use the security card. Carla, I am so glad you're safe. Why did you go alone? I was worried sick when I didn't find you upstairs. Every second was precious. What if the murderer got away because I waited? I understand how you feel. But what you did was reckless. We should have gone together as a team. It's safer that way. I'll try to remember that next time. Also, weren't you supposed to come with the Admiral? I couldn't find him. He wasn't in his suite. Did you try reaching him by phone? He didn't text me back. I have no idea where he is. Well, I guess it'll be just the two of us moving forward. I haven't checked any of the other areas yet. We'll just make do with what we have. Let's move forward. Stay alert. The culprit might still be around. Whoever broke in here also unlocked all the doors. Does that mean the system was compromised? Most likely. I can't say I'm surprised, though. Whoever hacked in has access to high-level tech. Same as on the USB key we found in Porsche's suite. Is there anything we can do to stop them? It's a bit too late for that. They most likely already gained the access they needed. We should investigate what happened here first, before figuring out our next steps. Roger that. The control system was shut down. We can turn it back on. But every system will need to be manually linked back to the control room. What do you mean by manual linking? Basically, each system, like door locks and cameras, needs to be linked using the control room's open platform software. But to link all the software back together, I'll need a second pair of hands. Could you help? Okay, I'll help you any way I can. I'm glad you're up for the challenge. All right, what do you want me to do? Go to the console on the right and use the middle screen on it to link the software. I'll work on the console on the left. Got it. Let's do this. I think it's this screen Ruben was talking about.
Everything's working again. Except the cameras. Huh? There's another room by the entrance? But I didn't see a door there. Ruben, what? Ruben? I'm in the lab. Ruben, I'm sorry.
It was the intruder. They ransacked the place. Did they find what they were looking for? I'm not sure. Everything's scattered around. It's a mess. Actually, would you give me a hand to look for a purple folder? It should be here somewhere. Purple folder? What's in it? If you don't mind, I'd like to find it first. Of course. I need to cut open the package first. I need to insert a CD. It's empty. I need to insert a CD. I found it. Great. Let me see it. Damn it. It's gone. What's gone? My journal, Carla. My notes. I kept them in this folder. Ruben, it's going to be okay. The intruder is still on the island, and so are we. They can't run away. Right. Right. I guess you have a point. It's not over yet. What was in the file that was so important anyway? Is it something to do with Project Genetica? Yes. 
It contained notes about the procedure for synthesizing the genetica serum. Let's not lose faith. We can get your journal back. And how do you plan to do that? We don't even know who took it. Um... But don't worry. It's fine. They only have one of the three journals required to reproduce the serum. It's the first time I'm glad I keep all of them in separate places. Where do you keep the other two folders? No need for you to know both locations, but I'll check in on one of them later. I'll show you, too. Let's head back to the control room. There's one more thing I'd like to do. Okay. Since the main system is restored, I'd like to give you access to all areas in Haven. If there's another emergency, I don't want you to get stranded in here. What do you need me to do? Place your hand on the touchpad there. It will scan your handprint and add you to the database. Everything seems to be in order. Now you should have access to all of Haven's areas. We're all done here. So why don't we go back to the hallway and continue the investigation? Okay. Let's head back to the hallway. Let's inspect Genetica Keep next. Doesn't look like anything is in... Ruben, look, it's... Genie! Thank goodness. She's just unconscious. I'm glad she's okay. Let me look around for a bit. Maybe I'll be able to piece together what happened here. Thanks, Carla. Someone's tampered with the treat machine. I should take a photo for evidence. Ruben, I think the treat machine is out of order. And there are a bunch of treats lying on the ground, too. Could it be a malfunction? It's possible, but it's never happened before. We do have regular maintenance for it. However, there's a chance that someone tampered with the machine through Haven's system. It feels like the work of our culprit once again. They might have used it to get Jeannie's attention and have her come out. Even if they did, why is she unconscious? Maybe they sedated her somehow. With one of the treats, perhaps? Hmm, it's a possibility. But it's only a speculation until we find evidence. Let me look around more. Maybe I'll find something else.
Carla, did you find anything? I think I found a tranquilizer gun. A tranquilizer gun? Let me take a look at it. This is indeed one of our tranquilizer guns. Are the tranquilizers kept in this room? No. We keep them in the control room. Someone must have brought this one here. It might have been used on Jeannie. Mind if I examine her body for any clues? Be my guest. That's a tranquilizer dart. I should take a photo for evidence. Well, that confirms our theory. And the good thing is, it's only a mild sedative, so she should be fine after a good night's sleep. But why did they drug Jeannie in the first place? Probably to get a sample of her DNA. Most likely they took samples of her saliva, since they can be stored for longer. I bet they're hoping to extract some information about the serum from it. Would they be able to do that here? They could, but I don't think they will. Too dangerous to get caught red-handed. Either way, I don't think they'll be able to reverse engineer the serum from one DNA sample. Well, that's one less thing for us to worry about. Yes, but we should still be wary about it. Either way, I think Jeannie will be fine if we leave her here to sleep it off. In the meantime, let's go back to the hallway and see what else we can find. Agreed. Only one place left to check. The creative hub. Is there anything important in there? No, not really. But I'd prefer to clear all the areas to make sure we haven't missed anything. All right, then let's go. It doesn't look like anyone's been here. We should look around just in case. We might spot something odd. Sounds like a plan. All right, then let's go. It doesn't look like anyone's been here. We should look around just in case. We might spot something odd. Sounds like a plan. Ruben, does Mrs. Bird have access to Haven? No, I don't think so. Why are you asking? I found a blackjack, 
which I'm positive is the same one I gave to Mrs. B for protection before. That definitely shouldn't be in here. Perhaps we should take a look at the living quarters, too. Living quarters? Do people live down here? Not at the moment, but it's where most of the scientists stay while they're giving me a hand on the project. Let's head in. The living quarters can be found behind the door at the back. Let's look. Stay away from me! Georgiana! It's me! Calm down! Reuben, Carla, how glad I am to see you. For a moment I thought I was a goner. What happened, Georgiana? Why are you here? Oh, dear. I... I'm not entirely sure where to begin. I was prepping the food for tomorrow's breakfast in the kitchen. Wait, it's still Wednesday, right? Yes, it's night time. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure how long I was out for. Are you telling us someone knocked you out? I think so. But they sneaked up on me from behind. If it was a fair fight, I would have given them a run for their money. Georgiana, how do you feel? Maybe Catherine should take a look at you. I'm fine, dear. It takes more than that to hurt me. I'm just happy to see that you're safe and sound, Mrs. B. Would you mind telling us what you remembered then? It will help us fit the pieces together. You said you were prepping food for breakfast, didn't you? That's right, I was. I was getting some ingredients from the fridge when I noticed someone going down into the wine cellar. So I followed. Did you see who it was? No, but I was hoping it was Reuben so I could have a word with him. When did this happen? I don't know the exact time, but it was a bit after you came to ask about Jax. All right, please go on with the story. I followed the person downstairs, but these old bones ain't as quick as they used to be. When I did reach the cellar, I only saw the Haven elevator door closing. So you kept following the person down here? Well, yes, dear. I did think it was rather strange that when I called for Reuben, no one responded. I thought something fishy was going on, so I went down in the elevator too. And how did you end up here? When I reached Haven, the door to the creative hub was open. So naturally, I went in. Then everything went dark. I'm sure that's when I was knocked out. Next thing I know, I wake up and hear voices coming from the other room. And here we are. Is there any way you can prove any of this? Well, no. But before coming down to Haven, I took my blackjack for defense. Um, okay. But what made you take it? Didn't you think that it was Reuben going into the wine cellar? I did, but found it very concerning when no one answered me. Reuben always answers. And after getting locked in the fridge before, I'm taking no chances. I always keep my club close. Okay, I think I more or less have a picture about what happened here now. And you can have your blackjack back, Mrs. B. Oh dear, where did you find it? It was back in the room where you got knocked out. That's when I must have dropped it. Well, at least this part of the story checks out. Georgiana, let me lead you back upstairs. I think you've been through enough. Oh, yes, dear. That would be splendid. Carla, I'll be back in a minute. All right. I'll look around here in the meantime. Just a magazine. An older issue, too.
The doors are locked. No sign of a break-in on any of them. The laptop looks untouched. An ordinary coffee table. I doubt Mrs. B was sedated with tea. An ordinary coffee table. The doors are locked. The doors are locked. The doors are The doors are locked. An ordinary coffee table. The doors are locked. No. An ordinary coffee table. The doors are locked. The doors are locked. The laptop looks untouched. The doors are locked. Chloroform? This is probably what was used to knock Mrs. B out. I'd better take a photo for evidence. I should take the chloroform bottle too, and show it. I doubt I'll find anything else down here. Time to head back. Georgiana is still a bit shaken, but she should be fine after a couple hours of rest. Did you manage to find anything else, Carla? I found a bottle of chloroform and a napkin that had been thrown into the trash bin. Chloroform? Can you show it to me? Of course. As I figured, the bottle was taken from the Haven's laboratory. What do you think, Carla? Do you believe Mrs. Bird? I do. Everything she said added up. Honestly, I don't see a motive for her to break in here either. That's reassuring. My thoughts were the same. We should probably go over what we found. Fairly certain the intruder broke in to find more info on Genetica. And from Mrs. Bird's story, we know the break-in happened around the time we had the interview. Right. Do we know where everyone was during that time? Not really. Only that Mrs. B was in the kitchen, and that she followed someone into Haven. Hmm. It won't be easy to determine who could have done it just from the timing alone. Perhaps we should think about this from a different perspective. There is one thing that's been lingering at the back of my mind. Why did the security alarm go off? Maybe they did it on purpose. That's what I was thinking. 
But why would they trip the alarm on purpose? There has to be a reason. Chances are, they thought they could blame the break-in on Mrs. B. Or, Georgiana could have triggered the alarm on purpose to make herself the victim and avoid suspicion. Do you really think that's the case? Probably not. But I wouldn't throw any theory out the window at this point. Let's head to the entrance hall. There's one last thing I need to check on. Sure. Let's go. Carla, what I'm about to show you is top secret. You have to promise me to keep this between the two of us. Of course. I'm not sure what I should be looking at. Behind this wall lies a secret vault I built to keep my most valuable possessions. Carla, you have the call to open it. I have the code to open it? What are you talking about? I gave it to you on your first day here. Remember the musical notes I wrote down for you? I'm a bit confused. Why would you give me piano notes as the code for a secret vault? I gave it to you as a puzzle at first. I thought it'd be interesting to see if you could solve it. Why? Well, I did my research on you and your reporting acumen before you got here. I thought it would be an interesting experiment to see if you could figure it out. I can't believe you would conduct an experiment on me. I'm sorry. Perhaps experiment was the wrong word to use. It was supposed to be more of a fun riddle for you to solve. But I didn't expect everything would take a turn for the worse and end up the way it did. I doubt any of us expected it. All right, Ruben. What do you want me to do? Place the piano note by the lock. It's the key that opens it. I should use the piano notes to help me unlock the vault.
Wait, this melody. Ruben, I think I've heard it before. Ruben, did you write this melody? I did, a long time ago. This melody holds a special place in my heart. There's a lot more I'd like to share with you, but we're best leaving it for another time. All right. I'll look forward to that. Good. Now let's stop standing around and head into the vault. Welcome to the vault. This is where I keep my most valuable possessions. There's so much history down here. I thought you'd like it. Sometimes, I find myself coming down here to remember how far we've advanced as a society. Right. I think we got a bit sidetracked. We're here to find a blue folder containing notes on Genetica. The last time I was down here, I rearranged some things. I'm not exactly sure where I put it last. Mind giving me a hand finding it? Of course. You can count on me.
I found your folder. You're amazing as always. Pass it over, would you? Great. The notes on Genetica are still here. Are you planning to take them with you? No point. I'll leave them in the vault. After all, the notes are all here. That means the intruder didn't manage to get in. Oh, right. How come? Isn't this room connected to the Haven system? The lock isn't. The intruder could only get in by knowing the combination. Um... Any way they could find out? Not unless you or I tell someone. Anyway, the folder will be secure here. What we should be concerned about are our next steps. Do you have anything in mind? I'm a bit concerned about Sam. I don't think he would have left his self-appointed post without a good reason. I just had a scary thought. What if the Admiral was attacked again? I don't think Sam is the type to make the same mistake twice. But let's not jump to any conclusions. We should investigate this first. Let's head to the cliffside. There's a chance Wilkinson's already are still here. Are you planning to take them with you? No point. I'll leave them in the... After all... Oh, right. How come? Isn't this room connected to the haven? The lock isn't. The intruder... Um... Any way they could find... Not unless you or any way. The folder will be secure here. What we should be concerned about are our next steps. Do you have anything in mind? I'm a bit concerned about Sam. I don't think... I just had a scary thought. What if the admiral... I don't think Sam is the type to make the same mistake twice. But let's not jump to any conclusions. We should investigate this first. Let's head to the cliffside. There's a chance Wilkinson's already back at his post. No one's here, Reuben. Let's check. Maybe he's inside. It's locked. Hmm. He's probably not inside then. Reuben, Carla, can you hear me? Dr. Cat, what's going on? Where's the Admiral? I'm not sure. Sam locked me in here a while ago and left. All he said is that he needed to take care of some documents. Documents? Reuben, while you're still here, 
I'm sorry I took the notes about Jeannie. I was trying to help. Cat, I never doubted your intentions. Once we find Samuel, I promise I'll get you out. Thanks, Reuben. It's more than I could ask for. Dr. Cat said something about paperwork the Admiral needed to complete. Any idea what paperwork she's talking about? No, I'm not sure. Let's check the Admiral's suite then. Maybe he's back in his room. Sam's not here. I didn't think it'd be that easy. If he's not here, maybe there's something here that might lead us to him. What do you have in mind? Let's keep our eyes peeled for any documents. All right, I'll check your suitcase. I need to lift the gate first.
What did you find there, Reuben? The Admiral was writing a report on Genetica. A rather detailed one, too. Interesting. I found a contract next to the table. Maybe it has something to do with it? Let me have a look. Sam was preparing to sign a contract with me. What contract? Regarding Project Genetica's regulations and use on U.S. soil. I knew that Sam was here to evaluate the project's progress, threat level, and potential government uses. But I didn't know he came to the island intending to seal the deal, too. Anyway, most likely, these are the documents he mentioned to Dr. Cat. Okay, so we have the documents, but where is the Admiral and why isn't he here? He might be missing something he needs for the contract. Ruben, do you know what he's missing? No idea. But he left most of his belongings on the boat when he first arrived. So whatever Sam needs probably sank with the boat. What are we waiting for then? Let's go to the boathouse and see if he's there. Well, the diving gear is here. Dry, too. Doesn't look like the Admiral went swimming. I don't think the Admiral was in here. The diving gear doesn't look like it was used recently. I was hoping we'd find him here. It's just a guess. But a lot of things from the boat washed up on the shore. I bet if he is searching for something from the boat, it'll be there. Good thinking, Carla. That might be it. Let's go. Sam, we've been looking all over for you. If you're here to talk about why I locked up Dr. Cat, then don't bother. I did what I had to do. Catherine is not a threat. Not to you, or to me, or to the project. What makes you so sure about that? While you had Dr. Cat under lock and key, someone broke into Haven and stole classified files about Project Genetica. What? Why didn't you come and find me sooner? I tried to find you before. But you weren't at the cliffside, Sam. All right, my fault. I assume you believe Catherine couldn't have stolen the files. I'm certain, especially since she's locked up. Fine, I'll let her out tonight. Good, but this doesn't mean I don't have doubts about you. Are you serious? Please tell me you don't believe I'm the one responsible for the break-in. Well, you are by yourself in the middle of nowhere at night. Kind of suspicious. That doesn't mean I broke into Haven. I've been here on official government business for the past hour. I won't say anything else. We saw the contract in your room. We figured that you wanted to sign a deal with me, but we're missing something. Hmm. It's illegal to go through other people's belongings without their consent.
if you were in our shoes, you'd have done the same thing. I like that you stick to your guns, Miss Page. That's a fine quality in a woman. But it doesn't change the fact that you went through my belongings. Sam, you thought you needed to lock Dr. Kata. We thought we needed to search your room. Simple as that. Now, why don't you tell us what you're searching for? I'm looking for a special stamp that was assigned to me by the government. And you've been searching here for an hour? Did you consider checking the remains of the boat? I would, if I could fit into that damn diving suit. So, Sam, you really want to make a deal with me on the government's behalf? That was my initial plan, if what you claimed about the project was true. But if you decide to sign it without the stamp, I won't be able to make it official. The stamp does sound important. Maybe I should take a dive then. Perhaps it sank with the boat? Please do, Carla. Sam and I will continue the search here. I figured it'd be down here. I found your step, Admiral. Finally. For a moment, I thought it was lost for good. Pass it over. Thank you, Miss Page. Let's head to my suite, get a roof over our heads. I'd prefer not to delay discussing the contract, given recent events. Agreed. Let's go. So, Reuben, as you know, I was given the authority to make a deal with you. After what I've seen and all the data you've shared with me, I have reached the conclusion that this is legitimate. So, I'd like you to sign a contract with the government.
first, you need to explain to me what terms we're talking about here. Of course, but do we need Ms. Page to be here for this? What do you... I'd like her to stay, Sam. After all, we'll be making history with this contract, and I'd like someone to witness it. All right, she can stay. But she has to sign a non-disclosure agreement before we continue. What's spoken in this room stays in this room. Fine, I'll sign it. Good. I've already had the paperwork prepared for this situation. You'll find it on the table. Since Ruben wants me to, I'll sign the agreement. Signed. Satisfied? Not in the slightest. Samuel, would you like to continue explaining the terms? Of course. First of all, the public will be kept in the dark about the project for another couple of years. We'd like to ensure that we know exactly how it works first. What about everyone else on the island? When we're back on the mainland, they'll have to sign an agreement to keep their mouths shut. So the government wants to keep the project hidden until they know more about it? Mm -hmm. Let me think. The public must know. It's the only way to keep it from being privatized. No one asked for your opinion, Ms. Page. Reuben, rest assured that the government will not privatize such technology. This condition is only to ensure that we know the scope of the product first. Thanks for your input, Carla. Sam, let's move on to the next condition. All right. Next, the U.S. government will acquire the exclusive rights to distribute and produce the serum. That way, all logistic and other development costs will be covered by us. Even if all the costs are covered, I'm not sure I want the U.S. to have full control over who gets the serum. The government shouldn't have control over this. It could lead to corruption and exploitation. Ruben, listen to me. This will not happen. Our top people will make sure of it. Right. What's the next condition, Sam? The last major thing is that your company will remain accountable for the product. So basically, if the effects of the serum aren't what we expect, the government will wash their hands of it. All they're trying to do is to turn you into a scapegoat. Nothing personal, Reuben. But the government cannot take the blame for an external project, or any project for that matter. It's just politics. Yeah, I know the drill. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm not going to sign the deal. Why? I weighed all the pros and cons. Honestly, I'm not sure if I can trust the government with the serum. I think I'm better distributing the product on my own as I see fit. I hope you realize that you won't get any support from the government once we leave the island. That barely even makes my top five concerns right now. I'll worry about that once we actually get off the island alive. Now that's settled, would you mind letting Dr. Cat out, Admiral? I said that I'd let her out, and I will. I'm a man of my word. Thank you, Sam. Carla, we won't be able to do much else tonight. 
Let's continue the investigation tomorrow. All right. Stay safe until then. I'll see you tomorrow. Another day? Another mystery to solve. Oh, seems I just got a new message. Carla, I'm glad you got here so quickly. The software on the laptop finally finished decrypting the USB key we found in Porsche's suite. Did it contain anything that could help our investigation? That's what I was about to find out. There are a bunch of folders in here, but they're all empty. What? How could that be? The USB security system might have wiped it as a countermeasure. Wait, it looks like something remained. It looks like... Like a guide? Yes. Information about a ring. To conceal liquid in it? Wait, could this be what was used to poison you? My thoughts exactly. It looks like the ring I found on Freddy. Do you have it on you? The ring looks identical to the one in the photo. Apparently, the top part of the ring opens up. There should be a small button at the bottom. Try to press it, but be careful. There might still be some poison in it. The button is there, but it won't budge. It might be broken. Let me have a look at it. The mechanism is definitely stuck. I could try to break it open, but I might damage the inside even further. Why does it matter if you damage it more? Break it open. There might be a remnant of the poison inside. I'd like to save it for analysis. Also, if there's a larger quantity of poison remaining, I'd risk splashing it over me. Wait, I have an idea. There's a narrow gap between the top and bottom parts of the ring. Maybe with a microfiber or fine fish line, I could get it open. Any ideas where we could get some? I'm sure there's some fish line lying around in the boathouse. All right, I'll go and get it. Thanks, Carla. I'll see if there's anything else I can use in the meantime.
Hopefully, it will do the trick. Did you manage to open the ring? Unfortunately, no. Any luck with the fish line? Yeah, I have it with me. Great. Please, pass it over. To be on the safe side, I'll go and get some safety equipment and try to open it in the workshop. Should I join you? It's fine. I can do this by myself. I'll text you when I'm done. Last time we were here, I didn't have time to look around. So many books. A peek into his mind. I should grab some photos for the article. Hmm. What is Reuben hiding behind that curtain? It's his family tree, though some of the pieces are missing. Maybe Reuben keeps them in one of the drawers. The missing pieces might be inside, but it's locked. The missing pieces might be inside, but it's locked. I can't open it without a handle. It's confirmed. Ruben's favorite pastime is reading. 
I'd better leave it be. Um, what is this? The missing pieces might be inside, but it's locked. The missing pieces. The missing pieces might be... Some of the pieces are gone. They're probably kept somewhere close.
A complete Navarro family tree. I'm definitely taking a photo of it. I'd love to see more photos of his family. Hmm, could that be a photo album? Ruben's parents seem so happy. Ruben's parents. Ruben was a. Ruben was a surfer? Cool. Wait, what? Is that my mom? Why does Ruben have a photo with her? I should take this photo with me. Ruben has some explaining to do. Carla, I was just about to text you. I opened the ring. Ruben, can you explain this photo? I found it in the library. Which photo are you talking about? Show it to me. Carla, I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I know Marianne, your mom.
why didn't you tell me sooner? Why keep it a secret? I didn't know how to tell you. How you would react. React about what? Don't tell me you dated my mom. I did. But it was a long time ago, while we were studying in London. No way. I'm sure my mom would have mentioned that she dated one of the smartest and richest guys around. Even when I told her that I was going over to your island, she kept quiet. I asked Marianne not to tell you anything. I don't get it. Why would you ask her to keep quiet about this? We agreed that it'd be better if I told you myself. Tell me what, Ruben? Carla, I... I am your biological father. Is... is this the reason I was invited here? You're a brilliant journalist. That's why you're here. Am I, though? Carla, listen. I think you've said enough. I... I can't be in here right now. This is too much. I need some space. I can't stay in the same room with him. this happening? I already have a loving family. I can't even give them a call from this damn island. I wish I could see them right now. I think I have a picture of them somewhere in my luggage.
I just don't get it. Why did my mom never tell me? I knew that William wasn't my biological father, but I never cared about that. He was, is, my dad. He raised me. It's because of him that I became a journalist. He was always there for me. And where was Reuben? <laughs> Carla, it's me. Please, let me in. I don't want to talk right now. At least give me a chance to explain. <laughs> Carla, I wanted to make this clear. I would never abandon you. Where were you when I was growing up? What was more important than me? Nothing is more important than family. But I learned that I had a daughter only last year. What? You didn't know you had a daughter till last year? No, I found you by chance. I read one of your articles that had a picture of you. You reminded me so much of Marianne, and when I noticed the name Paige, I knew it was your mom's maiden name. I figured this couldn't be a coincidence. So I called Marianne, asked if she had a child. She told me everything, told me you were my daughter. I don't get it. Why did my mom keep you in the dark about me? She had good reason. Marianne thought it would be better for all of us. What reason would make someone hide a daughter from her father? It'll be easier to understand if I explain from the beginning. As I mentioned before, I met your mom while studying in London. Marianne was smart, beautiful, and courageous. I fell in love at first sight. Not for long from what I gathered. It wasn't that our love faded away that separated us. So what happened? Why did you separate? Well, when I was dating Marianne, I already had my startup company up and running. At that point, I caught the attention of one of the biggest bank owners in England. He invited me to join a group of individuals as an apprentice to learn from him. I don't see how this relates to my mom. I'm getting to it. After a few months of joining the group, I realized I was getting in over my head. They were not good people. I needed to get out. This group? Who were they? A group of very powerful individuals that cared only for their self-indulgence. Morality was out of the question, and the law couldn't stop them. Unfortunately, you can't simply walk out of a group like that. I started receiving threats, getting stalked. At one point, I even got assaulted. But the worst was when they started going after Marianne. She couldn't handle it. And in fear for her life, she left me and moved to America. While she was pregnant with me. I didn't know that back then. And, well, here we are. Thank you for being honest with me. This is a lot to take in. And I'm not sure how our relationship will develop further. But for now, we need to focus on the investigation and find the murderer. So, you opened the ring, right? What did you find inside? Right, the ring. Hopefully, traces of poison. But I need to analyze it to be sure. Are you going to use the same handheld analyzer we used for the fake antidote? No, it's not designed to analyze such small quantities. We need to do a chemical trace analysis. The good news is that I have such a device. Is it one of the devices in your workshop? No, no. This one is a bit different. I keep it in Haven's laboratory. What are we waiting for then? Let's go to the lab.
the device wasn't damaged during the break-in. I'll set everything up. In the meantime, could you look for a tablet? A tablet? Like a touchscreen one? Yes. It's a white touchpad tablet. The analysis results will be sent to it. All right. I'll have a look. I need something to neutralize this village first. It won't light without gas.
I need gas to start the burner. I'm not sure if this is it, but I found a tablet. Let me have a look at it. Yes, this is the one. The data from the analysis has already started coming in. Interesting. I recognize a few of the compounds. These compounds can be used to incapacitate a person within minutes after contact. But they're not lethal in small doses. Is that the only thing the analysis found? Are there any other compounds? There are more but I don't recognize their structures. However, I think that whoever poisoned me didn't wish to kill me. They probably thought you'd be an obstacle to carrying out their plans. They thought right. I am. I believe I was meant to be kept alive, but immobilized, so as not to interfere with their plans. Still, one thing remains unclear. If the poison was non-lethal, it was still slowly chipping away at my health until I reached critical condition. Well, the ring is broken. Could they have overdosed you by accident? Either that, or I had a reaction to the poison that the culprit did not anticipate. Whatever the case, thanks to you and the Miraculous, I made a rather quick recovery. I bet they didn't see that coming. The culprit is only human, and we all make miscalculations. That's right. Which leads us to our next move. Do you have the ring on you? Yes, I do. Why? Do you have something in mind? Kinda. I think we should go and speak with Mrs. B about it. I'm not sure I follow. How will Georgiana help us here? After the Admiral was attacked, we needed information about an earring we found in his suite. So, Mrs. B snooped around in all of the guests' rooms to find its match. Are you talking about Portia's earring? You're saying Georgiana broke into other people's rooms for it? It was the only way to figure out to whom the earring belonged. I just would have preferred you to ask me before becoming vigilantes with one of my staff. You're right. I should have. Either way, did you figure out how Portia's earring ended up in Sam's suite? It might help us. No. Since Portia was murdered, there isn't much to go by. I guess it's possible that the real culprit planted the earring to throw us off their trail. That makes the most sense. But this shouldn't be our main concern. Figuring out to whom the ring belongs is more important. You're right. Let's go speak with Georgiana. I saw her cleaning in the parlor earlier. Okay, let's go.
Georgiana, do you have a moment? Of course. How can I help? Remember when you searched all the guests' room to find out about the earring? Not my finest moment, but yes, I do. Well, we found a ring, and I thought maybe you'd recognize it. Here, Georgiana, have a look. What's so special about it? Well, it contained poison. We think it's the same one that almost got Reuben killed. Oh my, I wish I could help more, but I haven't seen it before. Um, okay. Then, maybe you've seen similar jewelry when snooping around before? I can't say for certain, but if it helps, Margot and Janet brought quite a few accessories along. I guess the ring could belong to one of them. Thank you, Mrs. B. We'll investigate this further. Could I also get the ring back? Oh, of course, dear. Reuben, we should search Margot's and Janet's rooms one more time. I guess it won't hurt to try. I'll check Janet's suite. I'll go to Margot's room then. Once we're done, let's meet up back here. Roger that. Great! Margot's not here. Perfect chance to search around. There's nothing here that could tell me that the ring belongs to Margot. I don't know how much more of this I can take. People are dying left and right. What if the murderer goes after me next? Get a hold of yourself. You are Margot Saint-Germain. You are a survivor. Come on, Margot. You'll be fine. Just put on a brave face as always. Maybe. Margot isn't as strong as she leads everyone to believe. Did this fall from her notebook? Things to do after leaving the island. Meditation? A long holiday? Multiple spa treatments. 
I wouldn't say no to that myself. I should meet up with Ruben in the parlor. No one's here. Maybe he's still in Janet's suite? I should check. I can't believe you. You're actually telling me this is nothing personal? Janet, I was only following up on a lead. A lead that you believe enough to dig through my personal belongings? Whatever, Ruben. It's clear that you don't trust me. I'm done. Ruben? As you can see, my investigation didn't go very well. Did you manage to look around her room? I did, but I couldn't find anything that links Janet to the ring. What about Margot's suite? Any luck there? Nothing. And I almost got caught red-handed by Margot. What happened? While I was searching her closet, I heard her coming in and hid under the bed. Margot didn't see you. She spoke with someone before coming in. Just enough time for me to hide. Good. The fewer people know about our investigation, the better. We don't want to... Ruben! The lighthouse! Damn it! The SOS signal! Carla, we need to act quickly. We need to go to the lighthouse, right now. You're right. There's no time to spare. Let's go. It looks like the lightning strike fried the hardware. The surge even reached down here. The panel looks completely cooked. It's probably even worse in the lighthouse. The situation looks rather dire, I agree. But let's investigate the lighthouse first to get a full picture of the damage. Damn it! The beacon got shattered into a million pieces. Ruben, you are one of the smartest people I know. If anyone can fix it, it's you. I appreciate the motivation, but unfortunately, even if I could get the hardware fixed, the beacon glass is shattered beyond repair. Either way, we should take care of the exposed wires first. It's dangerous to keep them like this. Good point. We probably need some rubber gloves, though. There should be a pair somewhere in here.
a pair of rubber gloves? Great. Please pass them over. Thanks, Carla. You know, there's something strange about this incident. The lighthouse has a lightning protection system installed that should have prevented this. The storm is pretty rough. Maybe it got wrecked from the wind? I doubt it. The system and its cables are designed to withstand such weather. In any case, I'd better start by fixing the exposed wires. Okay, I'll look around in the meantime. There must be a story here. I just need to find it. Nothing out of the ordinary here. The shattered glass went everywhere. Was this window broken before? I should investigate. I think the cable was cut using the wire cutters. I've already checked this. Where did this brick come from? This was no accident. The lighthouse was sabotaged. I'd better take some photos. Okay, Ruben. I think I have a pretty good idea of what happened here. The first thing that stood out was a broken window. It was fine the last time I was here. I guess it's pretty odd, but it could have shattered from the shards flying off the beacon. I don't think so. I believe someone broke the window prior to the lightning strike. There's a brick surrounded by shattered glass lying outside the window. So what would someone gain from breaking the window? That leads to my second point, actually. There's a cut cable lying outside that extends from the top of the lighthouse. That's probably the conductor cable from the lightning rod. Are you sure it was cut? I'm pretty sure. There were wire cutters next to it. I think they broke the window so the cable could reach the beacon's hardware. In such a case, if a lightning strike hit the lighthouse, all that energy would go into the beacon. And it would explode. But it's rather odd that they left evidence lying around like that, as if they wanted us to find it. Well, we found it. They achieved what they wanted. One second. I just received a message. Odd. The message was sent anonymously. Can you find out who sent it? Not without proper tools, which I don't have on the island. However, I think it's pretty clear the message came from the culprit. It reads, Lights out. I left another surprise in the ruins. This message is a bit worrying. What if they set a trap in the ruins? It's concerning, I agree. But we were fine when we passed it to get here. It's highly unlikely to be a trap. The only way back to the mansion is through the ruins. We can't avoid it. Well, there's nothing else we can do here. So we may as well go back. Let's just be extra cautious. Agreed.
I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Same. But maybe the surprise is something the culprit hid for us to find. Perhaps, but I don't like it. I'm worried that we're playing straight into the culprit's hands. I'm not a fan of this either, but what if the surprise is important? It could be nothing. We won't know unless we find it. Even if it's nothing important, it could still help us identify the culprit. I guess you're right. Let's look around. Huh. That's probably the surprise the culprit mentioned. Reuben, I found a box with a ribbon on it. I think this is what the culprit wanted us to find. Let me take a look. Just be careful with it. We don't know what's inside. Oh, I think this is one of my puzzle boxes. Uh, okay. Can you open it? Well, the thing is, I collect them, not solve them. But whatever the culprit wants us to find is probably in this box. And since we've gotten this far, we may as well try to open it. 
Should we hide from the rain in the abandoned house first? We can get it open there. After you. Let me have a go at it first. I'm not too shabby with puzzles, if I do say so myself. By all means, go ahead. I put the box on the well. Wait a second. This is my ledger. I use it to keep tabs on all the bigger payments made by the company. Why would the culprit put it in the box? Is there anything important in it? Nothing particularly significant or related to Genetica. Ruben? What's wrong? I... no, it's nothing. A few pages are gone, just notes on donations I've made to charities over the years. There's also another message left for us. What does it say? The next clue awaits in the cavern. Is that all there is? I don't understand why the culprit left a journal for us to find. They could have just left the message, right? I... I'm not sure. But I think they know more than I thought. We need to search that cavern. I agree. Whatever they are trying to pull off here, we need to stop it. Or at least know what it is. They mentioned a cavern. I bet it's the same one that the tunnel underneath us leads to. I guess that's where we're heading then. should be hidden somewhere in here. It's vague, but let's keep an eye out for anything suspicious. can shoot the harpoon gun to get it out.
Reuben, there's nothing here. I couldn't find anything either. But the message did say there was another clue. I think they deliberately didn't leave anything else here. They're messing with us. I have a feeling the culprit might be wasting our time. All of this was a setup. What do you mean? Let's take a second to think the culprit sent me the text message while we were in the lighthouse. They knew we were there. Right. They figured we'd try to fix it. It is our SOS signal, after all. For them, it was two birds with one stone. They destroyed the beacon, and then they managed to distract us with the message they sent me. Even if all of this was a ploy to delay us, I don't understand what they're gaining from it. I guess they needed time for something. Maybe to sneak back into Haven? But why would they? They shouldn't know about the vault. Carla, I have a bad feeling about this. We need to get to Haven right now. Let's move. Damn it. The door to the vault is wide open. They must have broken in. Don't give up yet. You hid the file, right? Maybe they didn't find it. I did. But we've given them more than enough time to search the place from top to bottom. There's still a glimmer of hope, Reuben. Let's check. You're right. We need to make sure. Follow me. It's a bench. The file's gone. It's not here. How could I have been so careless? If it's actually been stolen, there must be a clue left behind. If there is, I'll find it. Sure, go ahead. I need a bit of time to get my thoughts in order. Something is missing here.
hopeless. There's not a speck of evidence around. Wait, what's that? The cavity is the same shape as the eye emblem we found in the cave with the Admiral. Is this a book about the Overseers? Of course it is. How do I get... Actually, I don't have time for this right now. I'd better go find Reuben. How did it go? Did you find any leads in the vault? Nothing that would help us figure out who broke in. Damn it all. Project Genetica will change the world. I know it will. But the change will be for better only if it's handled by someone with no lust for power. I'm losing my grasp on Genetica. Someone is taking it from me, and I don't know who. That's why I'm here to support you, Ruben. We'll figure this out. Let's figure out how someone simply walked into the vault, bypassing its security, without any trace of a break-in. When only you and I knew where the vault was, or how to get in. Do I need to remind you that I was with you the whole time? Yes, you were with me. But not always. You could have told someone about the vault before. Ruben, I understand. You're angry about the situation and looking for the cause. But it ain't me. I've only been trying to help. If that's the truth, then help me by answering my question. Did you tell anyone about the vault? Sure, that's only fair. I didn't tell anyone about the vault. The culprit must have obtained the code some other way. Not through us. It's possible. If they somehow knew about the location of the vault before, they could have planted hidden cameras around it. That might be it. Back in the control room, when we put it up the system, for a second it showed a map of Haven. There was an empty room marked on it. I think it was the vault. If I saw it, the culprit must have seen it too. We don't have anything else to go on. We may as well have a look around. If there is a hidden camera, it'd be placed somewhere near the vault's entrance. You were right. I found a hidden camera. Take a look. They most likely watched the footage. And saw the vault's code and how to get in. Then they distracted us so they could steal the file. But it's unlikely to be the only surveillance device they planted. We should sweep Haven and make sure there aren't any more. I'll check the control room first. Could you start from the creative hub? Sure. It's not what I need to print.
Another one in the bag. I should check the living quarters next. The doors are still locked. I think it's a teapot? I think that's all of them. I finished checking the other parts of Haven. They were also bugged. How's the situation here? I found another spy cam and a recorder hidden around here too. They had eyes and ears all over the place. Give me all the surveillance devices you found. I'll get rid of them. Good. I shouldn't be long. No worries. There's another thing I'd like to check here in the meantime. If you happen to find another hidden device, let me know. Will do. While I have a moment, I should have another look at the book from the vault. This table looks like a good spot. Hmm, there's a slot to put the Overseer's Eye Emblem in. Looks like... Is this a history of the Overseers? That's the group the Admiral was talking about back in the cave. 
Why does Reuben have this? The first record dates back to the 16th century. A group of rulers from Europe formed a secret alliance to bring their countries wealth and power. Is this real? Odd. The pages at the end look fairly new compared to the rest of the book. Were they added recently? Carla, there's one more thing. I wanted to. Carla, that book. How? Why do you have this book? While investigating the vault, it caught my eye and I took it with me. There are a bunch of books there. What made this one so special? Its emblem. The question is, why do you have a book on the Overseers? How do you know that name? I won't tell you anything until you tell me why you have this book. Carla, this has nothing to do with the case. Why don't you just drop it so we can move on? When investigating the sniper incident, we found an emblem that fits perfectly into this book. Don't tell me it has nothing to do with the murder investigation. Jeannie! Did she hurt herself? Hey there, you okay? Jeannie, no! We need to get the book back before she tears it apart. So it is important. You want the truth? You'll get it, but only after we get the book back. Good. That's all I wanted from the start. Any idea where Jeannie could have taken the book? Usually, whatever she steals ends up in her stash back at Genetica Keep. I'd start there. All right, let's go. I don't see Jeannie anywhere. Still, she might have been here to hide the book in her stash. I guess it's worth making sure. Give me a moment.
Nothing. No book in sight. If the book isn't here, Jeannie is probably still in the vents. Any way to get her out? In theory, we could flush her out through Haven's ventilation system. Fortunately for us, she has a GPS device on her, so we can track her movements. All we're really missing is the GPS receiver. Where is it? I'll bring it. It should be in the laboratory. In the meantime, I'll prep everything in the control room. We'll access the ventilation system through there. Sounds good. I need a key card to unlock it.
I think that's the one. I should bring it to Reuben. I've got the receiver. What do you want me to do with it? Connect it to the port on the table next to me. I need to turn it on. I need to turn it on. Great. I think that's it. Now we just need to get Genie out. What's the plan here exactly? With the GPS receiver, we can see where she is in the vents. If we shift the airflow in them, we can guide Genie out. But I'll need a hand with this. The system requires two people to operate fully. All right, let's give it a try. I need to use the fans to guide Genie out. Genie's blocking the way. Genie's blocking the way. Genie's blocking the way. job. Genie should have come out in genetic keep. Let's get that book back. Carla, I'll distract Jeannie. You grab the book from her. Let's see how this plays out. I need to wait until her guard is down. got the book but genie didn't seem very happy about it she'll be fine more importantly the book is safe and sound now then it's a good time to start talking very well i won't go back on my word what do you want to know about the book on the overseers <laughs> why do you have it stored in the vault it's yours right it is I've been looking into this rotten group of people for quite some time. And the book contains material about the Overseer's history. To be honest, what I told you earlier about why your mom left me wasn't the full story. Back then, the group who terrorized us both was them, the Overseers. I've got the book, but Jean... ...us both was them, the Overseers. If I remember your story correctly, 
you were a part of them. Everything I said before was true. I left as soon as I realized what type of organization it was. But the story didn't end there. The harassment didn't stop. And the overseers basically buried my business. My startup company was on the verge of collapsing. Obviously, it didn't stop you from building your business empire in the end. That's because I struck a deal with them. What did you agree to? It must have been quite a negotiation. I'm not proud of this, but I promised them 10% of yearly revenue from my company. Every year, I wire the money masked as donations to charities. Hold on a second. When we found your ledger in the abandoned house, the pages with charitable donations were missing. Is it related to the overseers? Carla, please don't make me answer this question. You don't need to tell me. I'm sure I can put two and two together. Fine. It's probably for the best if I tell you myself. The donations missing from the ledger were the ones I sent to the overseers. I kept you from the full message left in the ledger, too. It said, thanks for the money. Then it means that the culprit is an overseer. Ruben, this is huge. It doesn't tell us who the culprit is. Only that we are dealing with people more powerful than I thought. Is there any way we can stop them for good? That's where the book comes in. By itself, it isn't as important. I believe most of the members have a copy of it, but I keep a list of names in this one. The list is a combined effort of an over two decades long investigation. I was able to track down most of the members, except for the top branch. Why haven't you given it to the police? The government, or anyone at all for that matter. Without knowing a single member at the top of the chain, there's no point. If we try to cut off a limb, they'll just grow it back and be more cautious next time. There must be something we can do about them. Let's cross that bridge when we get there. First of all, I'm more worried about what the culprit will do next. Given how close they are to getting all the information on the Genetica formula, they might do something radical. I'd prefer that you get something to protect yourself. Are you telling me to get a gun? No. Lethal weapons are out of the question. I don't want any blood on your hands. I'll contact Sam. He's always been cautious. He probably brought some self-defense equipment to the island. Are you sure we can trust the Admiral? Samuel is a lot of things, but an overseer is not one of them. Of that, I am certain. I'll text him now to meet up with you. What will you do? I'll run another sweep of Haven. I want to make sure we didn't miss any of the hidden cameras. All right. He texted me back. He's going to meet you in the boathouse. I'll get in touch if anything else comes up. Okay. Stay safe. You too.
Miss Page, mind explaining why Reuben wants to arm you for self-defense? Why now? I'll explain everything afterward. But first, I'd prefer to get what I came here for. Very well, but you owe me some answers. Now, I did bring some self-defense equipment to the island. But unfortunately, I left all of it in the boat when I arrived. If any equipment survived the fire, it should be lying at the bottom of the sea. I had pepper spray and a stun gun. Any preferences? I think the stun gun is a better option here. Great. I kept it in a watertight box, so it shouldn't have been damaged by the water. But it won't get itself, so why don't you put the diving suit on and go for a swim? I'll hold the perimeter while you're down there. Okay. I'll be back shortly. No stun gun, the pepper spray isn't going to be of any use. So, did you get the stun gun? I didn't, but I found the pepper spray instead. I doubt I can use it though. What's wrong with it? Let me have a look. You should have started by saying that it melted. Could have saved us both some time. Sure. The next time I find a melted canister of pepper spray, you'll be the first to know. Enough with the sarcasm. Did you forget I'm helping you out of my own goodwill? I'm free to leave whenever I please. Right. Sorry. What about the stun gun, then? Any ideas where it could be? Well, if you're certain it wasn't with the boat remains, it could have washed ashore. Like, to the beach? Hopefully. Why don't we go check? It's missing a pearl.
I found it. It washed ashore, as you said. Good, but it's not a toy, Miss Page. Be careful with it. I think I can handle it. For your sake, I hope you will. Now, let's head back to the mansion. I'd like to get those answers you promised. Sure. Now then, why don't you get me up to speed on the situation? The Overseers are just a story. We're pretty sure the culprit is one of them. Why? Because of the emblem we found before? The culprit left a ledger for Reuben and me to find. Inside was a note which basically confirmed that it's one of them. What was in the note? It's not for me to say. You're not blowing smoke up my rear, are you? Would I joke about something like this? If that's really the truth, then this is indeed a very serious matter. They are also really close to obtaining the last beast of the Genetica formula. Reuben is worried they might do something drastic to get it. He said it would be best to prepare ourselves if push comes to shove. We cannot let the Overseers get their hands on the serum. The very thought sends shivers down my spine. We'll stop them. Huh. That would be the best case scenario. But is it realistic? I don't think so. Not with that attitude. Oh, I think Reuben texted me. <gasps> What's wrong? The last file has gone missing. The last file? What does that mean? Reuben had three files into which all the research on Genetica was split. If the last file is gone, it must mean that the culprit has all of them now. Where is Reuben? We need to meet up with him ASAP. One second. I'll text him. He's in the security office. Let's go. Reuben, Miss Page brought me mostly up to speed on the situation. I need confirmation from you. Does the culprit have all the information on Project Genetica? I... I believe so. God damn it. This is a matter of national security. We need to get those documents back immediately. I know. I know. I'm just trying to piece together how they found the last file. When did you realize the file was missing? After I finished in Haven, I came here to check on it. So, a few minutes ago. First things first. We need to establish a time frame during which the file was stolen. When was the last time you confirmed the file's location? Today. Early in the morning. So it must have been taken rather recently. All right. I'll have a look around. Maybe I'll find something that could give us a hint. We should all keep our eyes peeled.
I did find a brooch. I doubt it belonged to Lucas. Can I have a look at it? This brooch, it's Mrs. Bird's. She wears it all the time. When we spoke with her this morning, she was wearing it, wasn't she? Back in the parlor? Yes. I believe Georgiana had the brooch on her. If it is her brooch, she must have been here at some point during the day. And she might have seen something. I'll go and speak with her. You go and do that, Miss Page. I'd like to ask Q a few questions myself. It's for the best if we split up to cover more ground. Why do you want to question him? I saw Q hanging around the garden during the day. I find the boy suspicious after all the lies he spouted about me. Sam, knowing your relationship with Q, I don't think it's a good idea to leave the two of you alone. Good point, Reuben. You should be there with them. You know, just in case. Right. It's probably for the best. Sam, I'm coming with you. Suit yourself. Since that's settled, mind returning the brooch to me? I'll give it back to Mrs. B. Right. Of course. Carla, let's meet up back in the dining hall after. Roger that. I'm so happy you're okay. I was worried sick. Who did this to you? I... I don't know. Everything happens so fast. Maybe you can take us through it step by step. Why did you go into the jungle by yourself? I came here not long after I caught Reuben rummaging through my room. I just couldn't bear being shut up inside those four walls anymore. So I went for a walk. While I was out here, someone snuck up behind me and knocked me out. Next thing I know, I wake up, tied up. You probably need to be examined. You might have a concussion. I'll text Catherine and tell her to be ready. Before we go back, Janet, mind if I ask you a few more questions? Of course. I'll help any way I can. Any idea why someone would do this to you? I... I really have no clue. Hmm. Maybe something happened during the day? Well, I ran into Margot and gave her a piece of my mind for sleeping with Jax. That can't have been much fun. How did it go? I mean, she basically apologized for her actions, and that was it. It didn't really escalate any further. The most important thing is that you're alive and safe. I've contacted Catherine. So, let's head back to the mansion and get you checked over. Okay.
Catherine, could you start examining Janet? I'm on it. Mind explaining what exactly happened out there? We found Janet tied up in the lighthouse. Someone attacked her. <gasps> Mon Dieu! Oh my! No need to worry. Janet's gonna be fine after a good night's rest. Thank you. Janet's attacker is probably the same person who stole all the files on Project Genetica. The one who murdered Freddy and Portia, whoever it is, they're still here among us. We gathered all of you here to get to the bottom of this once and for all. No one will leave this place until the culprit is identified. Damn straight. Now why don't we get started? Right. As you all know, I've been looking into all the incidents and murders that took place during our stay here. From the clues I've gathered, I believe I'm very close to uncovering the culprit's identity. I'm certain that once I've gone through all the evidence one more time, we'll be able to determine the culprit. Let's begin with Lucas's death then. Sure. At first, we thought Lucas slipped and fell by accident. But that wasn't the case. From the state of his body, it seemed that he had been in a fight before he died. If I remember correctly, we found out his knuckles were freshly bruised. That's right. We also noticed Lucas's suit was ripped. By that point, I was already suspecting Freddy was involved somehow. I found one of Freddy's pins by the pool. Besides, he had a bad limp around that time too, but there was no real proof. Since the pool patio security footage of the incident was missing. Except that in one of the remaining frames, I noticed Lucas was talking to someone. So I questioned Mrs. Bird about it afterward. She was the first to find the body after all. Could you tell everyone what you talked about? Mrs. Bird told me she escorted Freddy to his room. Yes. And then I went to finish tidying the Starship suite. Thanks to the Admiral's chat with Mrs. B, I ended up questioning Freddy later. Freddy claimed he saw Q fighting with Lucas by the pool. So, we checked the greenhouse security footage during the time of the incident. Q was there. He couldn't have done it. That's the moment we realized Freddy was lying through his teeth. We went to confront Freddy in his room, but he was gone. Instead, we found his notebook, which confirmed our suspicions. Freddy had murdered Lucas. That's when we all split up into teams and went to search for Freddy. We found him lying dead at the bottom of the well in the abandoned house. But his death was no accident. Dear, how can you be certain it wasn't an accident? The well's lid was barred by a steel pipe. Someone wanted to make sure Freddy couldn't get out in case he survived the fall. There's also another very important piece of the puzzle. I believe Freddy was being blackmailed and manipulated by someone in this room. And what did they use to blackmail Freddy with? The camera footage of Lucas's death, which we thought had been deleted. In the heat of the fight, Freddy accidentally pushed Lucas. Lucas tripped and fell backward, hitting his head on the corner of the pool. And you know the rest. I believe the culprit used this footage to their advantage by transferring it onto a USB key before they deleted it from the system. They probably approached Freddy after that. I think they blackmailed Freddy using the footage, making him their puppet. It's an interesting theory, Ms. Page. But where's the proof? Where's the USB key? Carla gave it to me before. I can confirm the USB key is real. 
Fine, but the USB key with the security footage didn't appear out of thin air. Where did you find it? In Jax's suite. I know that doesn't look good for Jax, but I think it was planted there. On what basis? The USB key was lying on the floor, partially hidden, as if it was lost. But I don't believe the culprit would be careless enough to lose something so important. It does sound suspicious, I'll give you that. All right, so if Freddy was being manipulated, what exactly did he have to do for the culprit? I'm sure that Freddy was made to scout out the lighthouse to find the best vantage point. I found a torn map showing the way to the lighthouse in his room. He tried to get rid of the map? He ripped it up and tried to burn it. Thankfully, he didn't do a good job. In any case, when I found the map, I decided to investigate the lighthouse myself. That's where I found the military-grade binoculars. And you're sure Freddy was in the lighthouse because... By the binoculars, there was also an empty bottle of Freddy's favorite wine. I'm sure he spent the night there. Most likely, he was involved in some of the other incidents as well. One thing still not clear to me. If Freddy was being manipulated by the culprit, why was he murdered? I believe Freddy found leverage against his blackmailer. And I think that ties directly in with your poisoning, Reuben. Miss Page, why don't you explain how you reached this conclusion from the beginning? Of course. After Reuben collapsed during our first dinner together, we started investigating what happened. Dr. Cat ran tests on Reuben that revealed a poison or venom of some kind in his system. At the time, we thought he'd been poisoned by the food or wine. But we ran further tests with Dr. Cat and found no traces of poison in them. We hit a wall back then without any further leads to investigate. Until... Until I had a delayed allergic reaction on my hand. Which, after analysis, led us to the conclusion that the poison got into your system through your skin. And how does this relate to Freddy's murder? It's part of this ring I found on Freddy that makes me suspicious. The same ring that was used to poison you. A poison ring? Seems like something straight out of my books. No fiction here, just facts. We found out about the ring thanks to another USB key the culprit left behind in Portia's laptop. It just looks like an ordinary ring to me. This button here opens the compartment where the poison was stored. Can I have a look at it? Of course. I believe Freddy got his hands on part of the ring and used it as leverage against our culprit, which, in the end, cost Freddy his life. You said Freddy had a part of it, but what you showed us was a full ring, was it not? The other part, the sapphire, I found mixed in with a tablecloth in the dryer. I believe the murderer lost the sapphire while poisoning Reuben, and it went through the washing machine with the tablecloth. This led me to believe Reuben was poisoned during dinner. Isn't it possible Reuben was poisoned earlier? Unlikely. Some of the poison compounds we identified are very quick to take effect. I had contact with everyone in the room during the dinner. Anyone could have sprayed it on me. Doesn't that leave the possibility that Freddy could have plotted to poison Reuben and done the deed himself? First of all, Freddy's dead. Even if he did do it, too many things don't add up. The security footage kept on the USB key, him carrying a part of the ring in his pocket. And I'm sure someone would have noticed Freddy wearing such a flashy ring during dinner. So your conclusion is that Freddy couldn't have poisoned Reuben. That's right. All of the heinous acts from that point on were carried out by the person who killed Freddy. 
Their main objective from the start was to get information on Project Genetica. That's probably why the poison Reuben was sprayed with wasn't lethal. He was kept alive in case the culprit couldn't find any information on the project. Yet Portia was the one who ended up paying the ultimate price. Portia's death was a consequence of the culprit trying to get their hands on Genetica. I believe Portia caught the culprit off guard while they were hacking into her laptop. From the evidence I found, I believe it happened something like this. What are you doing here? You! I believe that after shooting Portia, the culprit ran away, worried that someone had heard the shots. While investigating the crime scene, I also found a cartridge that seemed to be from a handgun. That's when I decided to check Lucas's gun, which the Admiral was keeping hidden at the time. The number of bullets missing from it was the same number Portia was shot with. It was the murder weapon. Does that mean the Admiral is the murderer? Calm down. I didn't kill anyone. Someone stole it from my room and after committing the crime, put it back in there to frame me. He couldn't have done it. The Admiral and Q were in the backyard around the time Portia was murdered. See, si, the Admiral was with me. What about Janet? She was in the room with Portia's body when Reuben found them. Janet does have a motive. She was being blackmailed by Portia to stay away from Reuben. Oh my god. I'd never kill her. What's wrong with you? Carla, it doesn't add up. Janet would have had to put the gun back in the Admiral's suite before coming back into the room. Why would she do that? You might be right. But there's also the culprit's black trench coat, which I found in Janet's suite. The coat's fabric matched the torn piece I found after the Admiral was attacked. Are you saying it's Janet's? It didn't fit her. But I'm sure it was planted there to try and throw me off the trail. Either way, before making any further assumptions, there's something else I need to let all of you know. We discovered that the culprit is part of a secretive, very powerful group of people called the Overseers. Never heard of them. Consider yourself lucky. Some of the stories I've heard still send shivers down my spine. I believe most of the stories about the Overseers have a kernel of truth to them. From the information I gathered about them, their roots go back to the 16th century. Their long history is full of instances where they abuse their power from the shadows to influence governments, even kings. Sounds a bit far-fetched. You really want us to believe this group still exists and remains active to this day? I encountered them in my younger days. I saw firsthand what they are capable of. Make no mistake. One of them is in this room. Oh my! How do you even know the culprit is one of these so-called overseers? While investigating the trail left by the culprit, we found an emblem with an eye symbol on it. This emblem is heavily associated with the group. I believe their ultimate goal is to steal the formula for the Genetica serum 
and exploit it for personal gain and power. Carla, even if all this is true, it doesn't tell us who the culprit is. Which is why, before I start pointing fingers, there are some other facts I should mention. The culprit had the technology to hack into Ruben's internal systems. We're talking about infiltrating his messaging network and even Haven's security system. Only someone with a lot of resources would have access to such technology. Carla, now all our cards are on the table. Do you know who the culprit is? I think I can narrow down the list of suspects to two people. Go on, then. First of all, it couldn't be Reuben. There's just no motive for him to do any of this. We can cross Q off, too. As he couldn't have poisoned Reuben during the dinner. He wasn't there. Also, Q and the Admiral were together when Portia was killed. Neither of them could have murdered her. Dr. Cat can be taken off the list, too. Even if her motives for taking the data on Jeannie are questionable. Poisoning Reuben would have been a waste of her time as she had to do the most looking after him, leaving little time to search the mansion for any information on the project. Janet did have a motive to kill Portia, and we did find her at the murder scene. But there's no way she could have tied herself up in the lighthouse. I don't consider her a suspect, and Jax is not exactly in a state to be able to pull off any heists either. All this leaves only two people who could possibly be the culprit. It's Margot or Mrs. Bird. Excuse me? It's obviously the cleaning lady, chérie. I'm innocent! I could never hurt Reuben! Enough! Miss Page, get to the point. Who is the culprit? I'm fairly certain it's Mrs. Bird. Carla, I am not the murderer. How could you say that? Georgiana, let's remain calm. I'd like to hear Carla's reasoning first. Thank you, Reuben. To start with, Mrs. B was the closest to you during the dinner. When serving food, she was standing right beside you. She could have easily poisoned you. Carla. There is no evidence to back this up. She also had access to every guest room. I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one who framed Jax. You've got the wrong person, dear. I'm innocent. Then where were you after you served dinner to us the night the Admiral's boat was torched? I was in the kitchen, cleaning up. I bet no one saw you down there, though. Right? I... You're breaking my heart, dear. Do you really believe I could have killed Portia? When we questioned everyone, Marco told us she left you alone in the club room. It was around the time Portia was murdered. You had a window. Dear, having an opportunity and actually seizing it are two different things. I thought you'd know the difference. Let's not forget how you almost always end up being close by when Genetica files are stolen. First, we found you locked in Haven after the alarm went off. Maybe you weren't able to get out in time. So you decided to hide the file, put on a little act for us, and then go back to take it later. That's just absurd. What about today then? When the last Genetica file was stolen from the security room, is it so absurd that you were the only one in the security room? Hang on a sec. I might not fully understand what's going on. Uh, but I'm certain what you just said ain't true. Mind elaborating, Jax? This afternoon, I saw Margot leaving the security office. Care to explain yourself, Margot? Please, Ruben. He must have drunk too much and dreamt it up. Margot, when I spoke with you today, 
You were coming up from the basement hall. So what? That doesn't mean I was in the security office. Well, if I were in the culprit's shoes and suspected someone had seen me with a stolen file, I'd probably assault them and tie them up too. Are you insane? I didn't attack her. But you're obviously hiding something. Oh, chérie. I believe you're better at keeping secrets than I am. Why hide the fact that Ruben's your father? <gasps> Carla is Ruben's daughter. I can't say I'm not surprised. But Margot, how do you know this? I run a media empire, Sam. It's my job to know. Is Carla really your daughter, Ruben? It's true. She is. It's a long story, but it doesn't matter right now. I strongly disagree. If you've been hiding something as important as this, what else are you not telling us? Maybe you and your little daughter are the true culprits, scheming behind everyone's backs. The only one scheming right now is you. Your word means as much as mine. You're right. But I have something you don't. Evidence. During my first few days here, when Mrs. B started helping me, she received a handwritten threat. That was the culprit's biggest mistake. If I compare the handwriting on it with yours, we'll know who's lying. Sure. Give me a piece of paper and a pen. I'll prove it's not mine. No need. I actually already have a handwritten note from your notebook. Is stealing another skill of yours? If it helps the investigation. Carla, why don't you use the table to compare notes so everyone can see? Works for me. Good. Four more letters left to find.
I need to find one more pair of matching letters. It's the same handwriting, Margo. Are you people going to take her at her word? She's not an expert. How can she tell? If you're not the culprit, then there's nothing to worry about. We'll sort this out. No one likes a hero, son. No. Samuel! Uh-uh, Ruben. Take another step, and you're dead. Marco! Oh, how could you? Where did you get this gun from? Ruben, you should really learn how to hide things better. I found your files, after all. Did you really think I wouldn't be able to find the handgun? You should give me more credit. Margo, you'll pay for this. Keep it down, Sam. It's not good for your health to get so worked up. He needs treatment or he'll bleed to death. Don't try anything stupid. As long as everyone behaves, no one else will get hurt. But kudos to you, Carla. I thought I'd get away scot-free. Not that it matters much. The only thing you've accomplished, really, is spelling out your own demise. Now, someone pick him up and let's all go for a little walk to the wine cellar. <coughs> all of you, get inside the elevator. Well, this was a lovely getaway, Ruben. We should do this. Let's see how long you'll be able to survive down there. Farewell. It was Margot all along. She's a witch and a goddamn psychopath. I, I can't believe it. What on earth just happened? Oh, God. And Sam. I think I'm going to faint. Everyone, I know it's a lot to take in, but please try to remain calm. Catherine, what's Sam's condition? I'll be fine. It's not the first time I've been shot in the line of duty. Sam? It's not up to you to decide if you're fine. Your wound is no joke. Just be thankful the bullet hit your shoulder and missed any vital areas. Are you planning on removing the bullet? No. It would be more dangerous to try and get it out than leave it in for now. With the current equipment in the first aid kit, I should at least be able to stop the bleeding. But I won't have enough bandages to cover the wound once the bleeding stops. There might be a bandage back in the laboratory. I can go grab it. I'll come with you. I need to check Haven's systems in the control room. I doubt Margot would simply leave us down here. Everyone else, please stay here and provide any support Catherine might need.
You go ahead. It'll take a few minutes to check the systems. Okay. I'll be back shortly. I'll be back shortly. I've got the bandages. Any update on Haven systems? It's not looking good. It's better if we head back to the others. I'll address the situation there. I've got the bandages. Any update on Haven systems? It's not looking good. It's better if we head back to the others. I'll address the situation there. Are you telling me we're in danger? I won't lie to you. At the current rate, the air will run out in Haven soon. But I have a plan. So let's not waste another second and head back to everyone. Okay, I trust you. Everyone, can I have your attention, please? I'm sorry to say, but we have another emergency on our hands. My worries came true. Margot sabotaged the ventilation system. If we don't act now, we won't get a chance to see daylight again. No, 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 no! Are we all going to die here? That crazy woman needs to be stopped. Could you please stop shouting? I don't need a headache, too. The situation is indeed dire, but not hopeless. Margot removed my admin rights from the system, but I still have another trick up my sleeve. We can reset the ventilation system with the emergency manual override. However, we'll need a few people to operate it. You don't need to ask. 
I'll be your savior. Jax, it's fine. I prefer you stay put and recover your strength. Sheesh. Whatever. What a joke. At the moment, I'm as useless as that drunk over there. Reuben, you know you can count me in. We still need another person. What about Q? Sorry, but I'll need help from Q to lift Sam up to treat his wound. If I can be of any assistance to you, Reuben, I'll help. Unless Carla still suspects me of being the culprit. I... I'm sorry. I don't. I made a mistake. I'm happy to hear you say that. But don't expect I'll forgive you straight away. Georgiana, your help is appreciated by everyone here. Thank you. There are three air control panels in Haven that we need to override at the same time. Georgiana, your panel is in Genetica Keep's office area. How will I know which panel I need? The panel has a ventilation sign in front of it. Carlo, your panel is in the creative hub, and I'll go to the third one in the control room. Each panel requires a key to unlock it. Georgiana, I've grabbed yours from the control room. But Carlo, the key to your panel is probably somewhere in the creative hub. It should have a blue tag on the keychain. No worries, I'll find it. Is that all? Almost. Once you open the panel, you'll need to wait for a signal. What's the signal? When the main bulb turns from red to green on the panel, flip the main switch inside. I think we got it, dear. Shall we head out? Just give me one second. Dr. Cat, before I leave, I've got the bandages you needed. Oh, thank goodness. This will help a lot. Thanks. You better get going now, or it won't matter much if I patch Sam up or not. You can leave it to us. We'll get it done. I'm certain you will. Georgiana, Carla, let's go. First things first. I need to find the panel key.
I think I've got the right key. Now I need the panel. I'm getting lightheaded. I should hurry up. Then, where's the signal? I really hope that worked. Everyone, the mission was successful. We managed to override the ventilation system. We are no longer in immediate danger. I never doubted you, senor. Oh, thank God. At least one thing went right. I knew you'd all get it done. I'm just glad I could help. Y'all did well, but what took you so long? Jax, you better keep your mouth shut until you sober up. Why don't we all just take a breather for a moment? We can't just relax. We need to stop Margot. And we will. But simply rushing head on without a plan won't help anybody. I'm with Catherine on this. Can we just please talk about something that doesn't involve murder? Like Ruben. Why didn't you tell anyone about Carla being your daughter? Actually, he told me. What? Why did you tell him and not me? Look, at the time, Carla accused Jax of having Lucas's murder security footage in his room. He was furious about being blamed and could not understand why I was on her side. I had no options but to tell him the truth to avoid any further conflict between them. knew I told Portia a few months ago I guess she started looking into you afterward all the info about me she stored on her laptop was creepy to say the least right well people can be overprotective sometimes the point is that I wanted to tell everyone when the time was right but under these circumstances it wasn't something I could even consider to be fair I found out only today I don't even know what to say. I can only imagine what a surprise it must have been for you. How are you feeling knowing Ruben's your father? I haven't had the time to wrap my head around it yet. I don't know. It's understandable. It will take some time, but I hope we'll be able to build a relationship. Sorry to burst your lovely future family bubble, but what's our next move here? We get out of Haven and apprehend Marco. Right. Let's assume we manage to capture her. What then? We still have the Overseers to deal with. They won't let us simply walk away from all this. Basically, Reuben was keeping tabs on the Overseers for a really long time. He encountered them back in his younger days. I believe they almost made him go out of business. Since then, he started gathering information on them and storing it in a book. In the book, there is a list of people associated with the Overseers. I also have evidence gathered about bigger incidents that they were directly involved in. But I don't know the names of the top members in their group. I have more questions about all of this, but it can wait. Even with all this information, without identifying the heads of the group, we won't be able to stop them. Well... If we somehow capture Margot and make her give up the group leader's names, wouldn't we have a chance of taking down the Overseers for good? It's a possibility, 
But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we need to find a way out of Haven. Saying that, could we override other parts of Haven manually to get out of here? Like the elevator? No, it's impossible to do it from the inside. Hmm, what about the vents? They lead outside, right? That might actually work. But the ventilation system will be complex to navigate through. We'll also need the ventilation blueprints to find a possible route to the surface. Okay, it's a start. Do you have the blueprints for the vents down here? Yes, they should be stored somewhere in the vault. Great, I'll go and find them. All right, please do. In the meantime, I'll determine the best point of entry into the vents. The other part is missing. Sweet! I think that's what we needed. I got the blueprints. Good. We should be able to enter the vents from Genetica Keep. But they're quite narrow. Most of us won't be able to squeeze through. What are you proposing? The best plan is to send one person in and have them unlock the elevator from the outside. But the only ones who can probably move in the vents are Janet, Carla, or Catherine. Apologies, Reuben. I don't handle small space as well. I wouldn't reach the surface. It's okay. I can do it. Are you sure, Carla? It's going to be dangerous. 
Don't worry. I can take care of myself. I wish we didn't need to do this at all, but there aren't any other options. Let's just go to the creative hub. We can spread out the blueprints there and determine a path to the surface. Place the blueprints on the table.
Great! All that's left is to mark the entrance and the exit. I'd better grab a photo of the map. It'll probably come in handy. Okay. I think I'll know how to navigate my way out. This exit should lead you out somewhere by the beach. But if you get lost in the vents, just come back, okay? Ruben, seriously, you don't need to worry about me. My navigational skills are quite good. If you say so. But promise me, once you're outside, you'll avoid Margot at all costs. As far as I know, I don't have an appointment with her. Cracking jokes, even now. I guess you'll be fine. So once I'm out, what comes next? You'll need to unlock the elevator and send it down here for the rest of us. Sure. And how am I supposed to do that? By using the panel in the wine cellar, you should be able to access it. What do you mean by should be able to access? Well, the panel operates independently of the Haven system. So I hope that Margot didn't mess with it and it's still accessible. One more thing. Here's the code you'll need to input into the panel. That's everything, right? I believe so. I guess it's time for you to go. Let's head into Genetica Keep. Here's the widest entrance point into the vents, right above me. Seems a bit high up. How will I reach it? It's not a problem. I'll lift you up. Sounds good. Let's do this. I'll lift you up. The lid is screwed shut. The lid is screwed shut. It's a no-go at the moment. I'll need something to unscrew the lid first. Any ideas? 
There might be a screwdriver back in the laboratory. I'll go take a look. All right. I'll look around here then. Not my preferred choice, but I should be able to unscrew the lid with it. Haven't found a screwdriver. No worries. I think I got it. I'll use a coin to unscrew the lid. Good thinking. Let's get you up there. Here goes nothing. How is it? Are you able to move? It's cramped, but not as bad as I thought. Stay safe. I need to open it somehow. 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 I need to open it somehow.
I need to open it somehow. I need to open it somehow. I need to open it somehow. I need to open it somehow. I need to open it somehow. I need to open it somehow. This should lead to the exit. All I need is to climb it now. No biggie. I hope.
Time to get to work. I should be extra careful. Margot could be anywhere. It's not working. Marco cut the cables. Not good. I should text Ruben. Electrical cables, where could they be? All right, these look similar to the cables from the panel. I should head back. Who 
is Margot speaking to? And how? I already told you. I have the serum for you. Now get me out of here. As I already said, I've got this under control. There will be no witnesses left. What do you mean it will take some time to get me off the island? I don't care about the storm. Just do your goddamn job. Oh, seriously, how long will they take? We still have time to turn the tables. It's not working. I should remove the cut cable first. Let's hope this works. go. Now to let Reuben know. Welcome back above ground. Carla, I knew you'd get us out. With the right mindset, anything is possible. Huh, did you pick that line up from one of Ruben's speeches? Don't mind him, Carla. You're our savior. He knows it too. Miss Page did a great job, but this isn't over yet. Do you know where Margot is? I saw her a few minutes ago, going to the pool patio. And she didn't see you? If she did, I wouldn't be standing here. Also, she was talking to someone on the phone. From what I heard, they won't be able to pick Margot up off the island anytime soon, due to the storm. That's good intel. At least we won't have to deal with any more overseers for now. And this is a golden opportunity to capture Margot. We just need to decide how. I could tase her with my stun gun. Sure, we can immobilize her if we get close enough. But at mid-range, a stun gun won't hold up against her handgun. We don't have the firepower we'd need for a direct attack. Well... There might be other working guns on the island. Other guns? What are you talking about? I thought there was only one. Only one modern firearm, sure. And it's in Margot's possession now. But there is a pair of flintlock pistols back in the study. I keep them as decorations, but in theory, they should still be fully functioning. They're better than nothing. It's decided, then. I'll go get the pistols from the study. And it'd be reckless to go alone. We should assemble a small team for the operation first. The rest of the group will stay here until the threat is neutralized. You're right. Of course I'll be joining the party. This all started because of me and the project. I should be there to end it. I'm not going to stand on the sidelines, either. I'm coming. Carla, you've done enough. I don't want to put you in harm's way again. You should stay here. Reuben, Ms. Page has proved to be more than capable of handling herself. If she wants to go, let her go. Fine. Good. Now, I may not be in top form, but...
but it's my duty to ensure everyone's safety here. I'll be coming along, too. With that being said, we need one more person. I'd like to join you. Hold your horses there, cowboy. I'm all sober and ready to take that witch down. Y'all better take me along with you. We can't take both of you. Taking too many people could lead to unnecessary civilian casualties. Let's have a vote, then. Diplomatic as ever, I see. All right. I say let Jax come along. He could be rather useful. I'm not sure Jax is as recovered as he says he is. I'd prefer Q to join us. Carla? I agree with Ruben. I think Q should join us. <laughs> Fine. I'll stay. But if Margot shows her face here, I'm taking her out. I'll help the team any way I can. Good to hear. Now, shall we head out? All right. Everyone else, please stay down here for the time being. Once we've captured Margot, we'll come get you. Good luck. Chin up, everyone. I have faith in you all. You better all come back safe, okay? That's a promise, Janet. Now, everyone on the team, head to the study and stay vigilant. Margot could be anywhere in the mansion. These are the pistols. Senor, are you sure they are working? They look very old. They should. Back when I was given them, I was told they were loaded, too. One bullet in each gun, and we're not even sure they can fire. I don't like those odds. At the very least, we need to examine them. This one looks fine. What about the other one? This probably won't fire. The flint looks dull. There's a good chance it won't make a spark. So I guess we should just take this one. Yes, one is better than none. Who's going to take the pistol? Unfortunately, this wound would hamper my aim, so I'm no good. Miss Page, you already have a stun gun. I believe it comes down to either Q or Reuben. I'm the one who should bear the responsibility. Senor, please let me help. I can handle a firearm. I'm sorry, Q, but I feel like Reuben should take the gun. Okay. I just wanted to make myself useful. Q, it's for the best. Thank you, Garla. Listen up, people. Our objective is to capture Margot alive. The flintlock pistol should only be used in the worst case scenario for self-defense. Of course. Good. Then from here on out, remain vigilant. We don't know where Margot is. So the first thing we need to do is determine her whereabouts. Let's start with her room. Affirmative. We'll broaden the search from there if we don't find her. Move out. I need another drink. She's probably going into the club room. Everyone, stay quiet and follow me. Ruben's taste in music is less dull than his personality.
This is what we're going to do. Carla and I will sneak in first, move over to the right, and hide behind the pool table. Reuben and Q will go in after us and approach Margot from the left. Once everyone is close enough to her, I'll give the signal and we'll surround and overpower her. If we get her gun, we've won. Okay, let's do this. Margo, this is the end. What? Touch your gun and I'll shoot. I said don't touch it. It wasn't exactly a smooth operation, but we caught her. For a moment, I thought I was a goner. Thank you, Carla. Yeah, of course. I'm shaking like a leaf now, but at least it's over. You can talk more later. Margot won't stay unconscious forever. We need something to tie her up with. Jax told me before that he had some equipment with him for exploring the jungle. I think he had a rope, too. It's probably in his room. All right. I'll go find it. Looks sturdy enough. I've got the rope. Great. Give it to me. Q and I will tie her up. 
By the way, where's Ruben? He went back to the others to tell them the good news. Oh, okay. I'll go get him. We still need to discuss how we're going to get intel on the Overseers out of Margo. Off you go, Miss Page. Then Margo hit the ground. Oh, Carla, good timing. Ruben was just telling us how you took Margo down. Yeah, that was one hell of a good job. Thanks, but it was a team effort. Ruben, could we go back upstairs? We still need to discuss what we're doing with Margo. Right, of course. Everyone else, you're safe now, so feel free to go back to the mansion. Carla, Sam, and I will deal with Margo. Where's Q? He needed to get some fresh air. This whole ordeal was a bit much for him. Sam, why don't we go into the dining hall to discuss our plans for Margo? Sure, we can leave Margo here. She won't be going anywhere anytime soon. As far as I can see, we'll just have to force the information out of her. If you're planning on torturing her, I'm strongly against it. I agree with Carla, Sam. Don't stoop to her level. Fine. I'm open to ideas. We need to at least try to make a deal with her. If we convince her to tell us what she knows about the Overseers and testify in court against them, we could take not only Margot down, but also the Overseers. What do you think we could offer her? Protection. I see. That wouldn't be a problem. We'd keep her under guard until she testifies in court and the trial comes to an end. So the government would only protect her until the trial finishes. What about after? What happens after is none of our concern. She could be executed for treason for all I care. I realize Margot's caused all of us a lot of pain, but we should provide her with the security she needs, even after the trial ends. Sam, I'm sure you could pull some strings to make it happen. The question is not if I could, but if I would. And I wouldn't. She deserves whatever comes to her. Though I could lie about keeping her safe after the trial if that convinces her to testify against the Overseers. No. We need to be better people here. If she does her part, we should do ours, too. Honestly, Reuben, you and your righteous views. Fine. This is a democracy, after all. So why don't we decide here and now whether we're going to keep her safe after the trial ends? I think my view on this is clear. We should lie about protecting her. I'm against it. If we lie, we're basically condemning her to death at the hands of the overseers after the trial ends. Reuben has a point. We need to be better than her and the Overseers. The government should continue to keep her safe for as long as they can. You won't get far in this world with such a kind heart. But fine. The decision has been made. However, let's not forget that it all depends on whether she's willing to cooperate to begin with. We understand. Now, let's get this over with.
Oh, here you all are. I was getting lonely. Oh, here you all are. I was getting lonely. Don't you feel any remorse? Maybe I did a couple of decades ago. Now, not really. But please, do tell. How did you get out of Haven? I was sure you'd all suffocate down there. I bet Carla had something to do with it. Our wonderful heroine. Joke's over, Margo. You lost and you know it. I wonder. The other members of my group should be here soon. If I were you, I'd run. Cheap lies. I heard you on the phone before. I know they aren't coming until the storm passes over. Ah, oh, you're well informed. You can't blame me for trying. But is that all you have to say to me, Shiri? And I thought we were friends. We couldn't be further from being friends. Then rivals, perhaps. Margo, if you want to save whatever part of your life you have left, you need to tell us what you know about the Overseers and testify against them in court. No, no, no. Save my life? Ha! The only lives I perhaps could save are yours. It doesn't matter if I testify or not. From the moment you captured me, I became a liability to them. I'm as good as dead. Unless you strike a deal with me, I can ensure your protection. Is that a joke? I know how this goes. I'll only be protected while I'm useful. If the information you provide is solid, you'll be kept safe even afterward. I promise. They won't be able to touch you. I can't imagine how you'd be able to keep such a promise. But to hell with it. What do I have to lose? I'm dead either way. So, what do you want to know about my beloved overseers? What's your rank in the overseers? We don't exactly have ranks. But I'd like to think I'm somewhere near the top of the pyramid. Do you know anything about the other members of the group? I know more than they want me to. I even know their favorite meals. I can't say I'm terribly popular back in the group. Maybe that's why they sent me here without backup. If your info's as solid as you lead us to believe, then I'm sure we'll be able to keep you safe. Now, I heard you have a working phone. Oh, you mean my satellite phone? What else? There's no signal. How are you able to contact the outside world? Simple. After arriving on the island, I made some modifications to the satellite dish. It blocks all the devices on the island, except for my satellite phone. Pretty neat, right? I can't say I'm surprised. Of course it was you. I'll take that as a compliment. But really, it's the equipment that did all the work. I have to hand it to the overseers. They did equip me well for the trip. Margot, what about the Genetica files? What about them? Don't worry. They're still on the island. Did you make any copies of them? No, but it was on my to-do list. Then where are the files? Back in my room. Ruben, you and Carla go find the files. I'll get the satellite phone off Margo and try to contact someone in Panama. I'll leave that to you, Sam. Carla, let's go.
Almost there, but still missing something. Almost there, but still missing something. Now that's a witch. No sign of the files, but I think I found the DNA sample Margot took from Jeannie. I don't see the files either, but if the DNA sample was here, the files should be too. Give me the sample, though. I'll... All right, let's carry on looking for the files. It seems one of the boards was moved. It's worth investigating. A met there is a box hidden under the floor. It's locked, though. I bet the Genetica files are inside. Perhaps. Put the box on the table. Let's try to open it.
I knew it! All the files are inside! We finally got them back, Ruben! Yes. Yes, we did. Great job, Carla. Mind passing them over to me? Thank you. And Carla, I'm sorry I doubted you when the file from the vault was stolen. No harm done. I forgot about it already. But I didn't. My weaknesses took over me. I'm s- Ruben, it's already in the past. How about we look toward the future instead? I guess you're right. No other way but forward. Let's head back and find Sam. I see you found the files. We did. And were you able to contact someone for help? The good news is that I managed to reach the authorities in Panama. The bad news is that the rescue team won't be able to get here until the storm dies down. Did you tell them what happened here? I informed them of our circumstances, of course. But it doesn't change the fact that it's too dangerous to send out a rescue team at the moment. Our biggest concern is who will get here first once the storm dies down. The overseers or the rescue team. There's not much we can do about it. We'll have to wait and hope the rescue team arrives first. Well, if there are no other options, I guess we'll leave it to chance. Don't worry. We'll hide in Haven until we can confirm the rescue team has arrived. But before we do... These are the only files that contain notes about the procedure for making the Genetica serum. It's funny. Before all this, I strongly believed prolonging human life would make the world a better place. But after everything that happened, all the pain and death we witnessed on this island, I kept asking myself whether we as a species were ready for such a big change. And I reached a conclusion. We're not. Are you insane? This was the discovery of a lifetime. My decision has nothing to do with you. I didn't sign the contract with the government. You're right. It doesn't. But I won't stay quiet when I see you make foolish choices. It's done, Sam. The files are gone. The Genetica serum won't see the light of day. If it helps, I think you made the right choice. Only time will tell. Ruben, you've just destroyed your life's work. Leave him alone. I'm sure it wasn't an easy decision to make. Carla, it's okay. It might have been my life's work, but it certainly won't be my last. Carla, actually, if you don't mind, I'd like to speak with Sam in private. Sure. I'll go and check on Margot in the meantime. Ah, you cared enough to make another visit, chérie. Not really, but since I'm here, I may as well ask you a few questions. Oh, an interview. I'm honored. Go on then. I'm an open book. Why did you push Freddy into the well? Well, during your presentation, you actually got the motives right. He eavesdropped on one of my calls with the overseers and found out about the ring I used to poison Reuben. The bastard then stole it and even tried to use it against me as leverage for the footage. Poor Wolfie, look where it got him. Right, one more thing. Mm. 
Why did you become an overseer? Boring questions get you boring answers. It's power, Chérie. Simple as that. That's all I ever wanted. And I'm the type to get what I want. I have nothing else to say except... Prison will be good for you. It will give you all the time in the world to repent. <laughs> we'll see about that. Are you all done here? Talked it out? Yes. Senor, everyone! There's a cargo ship passing the island! This is our chance to get out of here, people. Ruben, we need to attract their attention right away. The SOS signal is broken, but there should be a flare gun in the shed by the lighthouse. There's no time to waste. Someone needs to run and get it. I'm a decent runner. Let me do it. It's all down to you, Carla. This key doesn't fit. Here goes nothing. Was this enough to get their attention? Yes, it worked. I think Ruben just texted me. Carla, 
You are amazing. I actually can't believe it. We are finally getting off this island. Hopefully. But we need to make sure we know whose ship will be boarding first. The cargo ship isn't too far away from the island. So Sam is trying to contact them with the radio. Sure. Being cautious is okay. But it looked like a regular old cargo ship. And it may be just that. In any case, it would be good to know whether they can take us to Panama. Fair enough. And where are the others? The rest went to get their bags and prepare for the trip. I should probably do the same. Wait. Before you run off, there's one last thing I'd like to give you. Sure. What is it? It's a memento from when I was dating your mom. I stored it in the vault, if that's okay with you. We could go get it. A memento from back when you and mom were dating? Yes, please. Hmm. It should be here. Could you help me look for a small velvet bag? Sure. I need a handle to open it. I need to open the skull's jaw first. I need to open the skull's jaw first. Is this it? Yes, that's the one. Always and forever. What a romantic I was. I gave this to Marianne back when I thought our love would last forever. The only thing that did is this bracelet. May I put it on you? Of course. It's beautiful. Thank you, Ruben. This bracelet is a promise. I promise that whatever happens in the future, I will always be there for you, as a father or a friend. I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. Just know that if you need me, 
I'll be there. Thank you. Now, shall we go pack our things? Yeah, we probably should. Once you finished packing, come to the veranda. Everyone decided to meet there. Will do. What should I pack first? I should pack everything first. I think that's everything. Time to meet up with everyone on the veranda. Carla, do you have a moment? Sure. What's up? I... wanted to apologize. Hey, whatever it is, apology accepted. No hard feelings here. You don't want to know what you're forgiving me for? Nope. I'm sure whatever it is, I'd forgive you either way. How are you holding up, though? It wasn't an easy week for any of us. Honestly, disturbed and exhausted. I think I'm so dehydrated, I couldn't even shed another tear. But seriously, I'm worried about what's going to happen next. I can't guarantee it, but I have a feeling we'll be okay. I hope so too, but... A lot of bad stuff happened, you know? It's not something I can just erase from my memory. I know how you feel. Everything that happened, all the people who died, I'll never forget it. At least I know I'm not alone in this. You're not. Besides, there's always Reuben, right? Ah, oh, Reuben. I really need to sort out my relationship with him. I know that he loves you. And I love him. Hopefully enough to get us past everything that happened here. But let's keep this between the two of us, okay? My lips are sealed. Thanks. We should probably join everyone else on the veranda. Good. Almost everyone's here now. Admiral, did you contact the ship? All good? I did. Surprisingly, the radio signal went through and didn't get blocked. Probably because the ship was close by. From what they told me, the ship's crew got caught in the storm while taking a cargo shipment to Panama. That's great. I mean, it's bad they got caught in the storm, but they'll take us to Panama, right? Affirmative. It seems Lady Luck is on our side today. 
But there's still some time before the ship gets here. So no need to hold your bags. Put them down with the rest. I'll take you up on that offer. I should put my luggage here. All right, I'd better check on Margo. Reuben, care to join? Actually, I should go make sure Jeannie will have enough food while I'm away. Suit yourself. I should see how everyone else is holding up. Q, how are you coping? I'll be fine. Uh, and how are you? Given the circumstances, I think I'm doing good. You sure are your father's daughter. Senor never complains either. I just wish for all of this to be over. For all of us. I believe it will. Have faith for a while longer. See, si, I'll try. You take care of yourself as well. Will do. Mrs. B, are you okay? Oh, yes, dear. I just keep replaying everything that's happened this week in my head. After what Margot did, she doesn't deserve to keep walking on this earth. Marco will stay in jail for good. I'm sure she won't get out in her lifetime. She deserves it, and more. So sorry to cut this short, dear, but I'd like to be left with my own thoughts for a bit. I understand. Take care, Mrs. B. Dr. Cat, how are you feeling? I'm still in shock, to be honest. This whole week has been one big emotional roller coaster. To say the least. Yet you persevered and helped everyone. It's thanks to you that we managed to avoid more casualties. But we still lost so many people. I couldn't do anything for Portia, Freddy, or Lucas. You shouldn't feel guilty. There's nothing we could have done. I know I shouldn't, but it doesn't make it hurt any less. All I want to do now is go back home and hug my family. It won't be long before you're doing just that, Dr. Cat. I should have said this sooner, but there's no need for honorifics anymore. Just call me Cat. Sounds good to me, Cat. Let's talk more once we're actually out of here. I like the sound of that. Carla? I have one last favor to ask. Sure. What is it? I doubt the ship will be able to reach the shore. It's probably too big. We need to prepare three boats to get to it. Do we have any? Back in the boathouse. I'm just not sure if we have enough paddles for them. Say no more. I'll go check. Thanks, Carla. If you find the paddles, leave them outside. Roger that. Oh, would you look at that? Our freshly baked hero, Carla Page. What are you doing here by yourself? Nothing much. Just thinking some things through. Are you worried about the Mafia business you got involved with? I ain't sweating about the Mafia no more. I talked to Reuben. He'll lend me the money. Once I've paid my debt, I'll cut all ties with them. That's the right step forward. It's the only step forward. I'd prefer to keep all my fingers attached, if you know what I mean. But I can assure you this'll be the last time I borrow money from Reuben. I made a promise to myself, and I'm planning on keeping it. But this is off the record, all right? If any of this gets out and reaches the press... I think there's a bigger story on this island than a movie star laundering money. Good. That's what I like to hear. No worries. I'll catch you later. See ya. The engine looks broken. 
not gonna leave the island with that anytime soon. The engine looks broken. Not gonna leave the island with that anytime soon. The engine looks... What a beautiful coral reef. What a beautiful coral... Looks handmade. The engine looks broken. The box is in the way. I can't pull them out. I'm still missing a pair for the third boat. Three pairs of paddles? Check. Ruben said to leave them outside. Looks like a good spot. I'll leave them here. Good news. I found three pairs of paddles. I left them outside, as you asked. Excellent. The ship is almost here. I'll go get the boats prepared. By the way, Admiral, where's Margo? We thought it would be better if we didn't drag her out here until everybody boarded the boats. I'd prefer to avoid any more conflicts until we reach the mainland. It's probably a wise decision. But before we leave, Ms. Page, I have to hand it to you. 
You did remarkably well solving the murders. I'm impressed. Thank you. It wasn't easy. Really, it's thanks to everyone that we managed to catch her. You don't need to be so modest. I saw how brave and tenacious you were. In my opinion, you're a great journalist, Carla. But I hope you understand that you won't be able to publish anything about what happened here. At least not until the trial is over. I get it. After all, this turned out to be a lot more than just an interview with Ruben. The ship stopped. I think it got as close as it can to the shore. Everyone, it's time to leave. I'll get Margo then. Everything happened pretty fast from here on out. The moment we reached the mainland, Margo was taken into custody by the authorities. Shortly after, we were also taken in and questioned. I gave them all the information they asked for, and more. While the investigation was ongoing, the government took all of us under its protection to ensure our safety. In a month or so, Margot appeared in court to testify against the overseers. The case made a real splash and attracted global media attention. Marco took the spotlight by providing overwhelming evidence against the overseers. She lifted the veil on all of the Overseer's illegal operations over the last two decades. The Overseer's operations were global. From huge corrupt deals and bribes, to threats and even murder, governments around the world rose up to take them down. Italy. Germany. The United States, and more. It didn't take long for all the biggest members to be captured, put on trial, and sentenced to life imprisonment. Margot also received a life sentence for all the crimes and murders she committed. After the trial finished, she was taken to a maximum security prison with additional protection she will live out the rest of her days behind bars. To my surprise, Project Genetica never came up in the trial. I guess the government decided to cover it up completely. Sometime later, I published my article about the events on Isla Esperanza in Peak Life, though I had to keep Project Genetica out of the article. To my surprise, it still became the most popular issue of the year. The others seemed to be doing okay too. Ruben and Janet finally got together. I'm really happy for them. Jack's got a new role in an upcoming blockbuster movie. Kat took some time off work to be with her wife and kids. 
The Admiral received a Medal of Honor for his service. And after a long vacation, Mrs. Bird and Q came back to work for Rubin. Everything slowly started going back to normal. I really thought the nightmare was finally over. If only I'd known what would come next. Maybe I could have stopped it. <laughs>